Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for another enhancement stream. My video making plans failed horribly. I tried to do the gathering rotations thing with uh, with the herbs, but I lost the uh, Odraxia rotation due to stupidity. So I'm gonna wait uh, until I have it again. You probably see the community post. So we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do hunting outfit, and I kind of also broke the alchemist clothes. So uh, maybe both, right? I've been clicking this for a bit. Uh, like sometimes I just do a few clicks off stream to see what it's like. And uh, while this one has not been nice to me, uh, it uh, yeah, <laughs> it's not gonna it's not gonna work unlike uh, unless unless I have like a streamer RNG right. So streaming now for streamer RNG, it's obviously gonna work. Hey Gato, thank you. I I'm glad you like it. Mm, yeah, I didn't do a countdown this time. Uh, so the stream is still like filling up and stuff, but uh, you're the first. <laughs> Welcome. I'm gonna go to uh, I'm gonna go to Heidel quickly to liquidate some uh, some uh, trash from orcs, and then we good to go. Uh, just gonna have to set a few uh, more pre-orders for uh, Blackstone armor. I think is missing. It's kind of late actually for me to start streaming, but uh, there's this 50% life event and uh, hunting is really good money right now if you know what you're doing. And I want to um, get into hunting, level my hunting a bit uh, and gather some experience in it, like <laughs> not just character experience, but also experience in the like as a player. And uh, then I'm going to make a hunting guide as well. I think the hunting guide could be uh, similar to the gathering guide in terms of depth and uh, length and stuff. Maybe a bit shorter because it's not as complicated. But uh, yeah. Oh, the the cooking apocalypse is not going to last long. I think. I mean, people now during the event are pre-ordering like crazy. But uh, like in uh, in uh, a pila. Or it's called pilgrims, right? Like in pilgrims, uh, people are gonna go back to it after after the um, life event. They're gonna go back to it, and uh, we're gonna be fine. It's uh, it's really not so bad, guys. Like uh, this is just temporary for two weeks, because making uh, cooking utensils is actually uh, it's actually good money, you know. So people do it to make profit. And uh, we're gonna see it fill up again, the market. Thing is, like, gathering rocks during a 50% life event is not the best way. Like, people are gathering herbs because it's even more EXP. That's why we, uh, we are in this situation. The hunt for hunting, the class matters a lot. Is that really... Like, have you, is this just an assumption or a question or like, are you sure it is like this? Why would the class matter? Isn't the mechanic for hunting the same? Like, I haven't looked into it yet, but uh, in my understanding, you only use the gun. I suppose uh, body height is going to matter. So uh, having like a short character is just going to make you hit the wall. But uh, the classes don't have like uh, special hunting skills, right? The character height, yeah. I wouldn't worry about that too much. Like you go Feather Wolves for leveling, right? And you can just increase your character height while you're in Feather Wolf. And when you hunt for money, do other things for money, I don't think it matters too much. Mm, okay, there's class passives for the gun. Yeah, like 
I, I'll make sure to cover that in the guide. But uh, like for me personally, I know 100% that I'm not gonna like play a different class for hunting. I'm gonna do everything on Tamer, even if she's not the best in some things. But uh, like I don't play on alts. Having an alt is nice for like PvP later on maybe. But uh, like even the uh, option of making a grind alt is not that appealing anymore because like with the Elvia spots, they're really close to all the towns, so you don't really have travel time or like uh, portals like with uh, Sikraya, where you have to pay to enter. This is not really a thing if you grind Elvia. Mm, yeah, my day has been alright. It's been a bit slow, I guess. I slept long because my week has been uh, like a lot of work. So, um, yeah, I, I slept a bit. I'm currently working on a video on herb rotations, and there's more herb rotations than Bear and the uh, Serene Spring. So I'm gonna cover a few more, and like I hope I find the uh, Odraxia herb rotation again, so this can be part of it as well. But uh, like I don't even know if the Odraxia rotation is any good. Uh, somebody sent me some screenshots, and it looked like there's a lot of herbs. But if the herbs are too scattered apart, or there's just not enough of them, then uh, it's not a good rotation, and it's not going to be in the video. Like I think, um, like I'll cover a glitch rotation in my video, and that rotation is already like not very good. It's decent, but like not not for really experienced gatherers. It's it's more like a beginner thing, and. And that's where I draw the line. I don't want to include a rotation that's worse than that in the video. Uh, so all how long does it take to do something in gathering questions are uh, answered by the calculator. <laughs> so uh, use the calculator. I don't know which boss you're using and I'm bad at math anyway. So like if you go to my latest uh, red meat video, the calculator is linked there. And, and you can you can just calculate how long it takes or rather the calculator calculates it for you you only have to input data it's sometimes cute like in the comments uh, when people uh, say like I have three try blue life accessories and like three tets and like whatever like a, a green logia something how long will it take? for the 27% of my level to finish and I'm like yeah <laughs> I'm not gonna do math for you <laughs> you have the link to the tool <laughs> I'm really not good at math uh, it's uh, like I sometimes ask people to do math for me and I hope they help me out with the videos but uh, like if somebody uh, asks me to do math for them that's just ironic like <laughs> that's like uh like calling an alligator to cure your wounds or something. It's just not gonna work. Uh, if the bot commands are down, uh, the links are also in the description of the of the stream. Uh, the, the bot has been not working very well, I guess. Mm, yeah, the Lima rotation is, uh, is included in the video. It's gonna be in the video. My character is wearing the wrong hat. With the wrong hat, you can't enhance. Technically also the wrong shoes. It's really important to be fashionable, guys. Okay. So I guess we go, right? I've been uh, giving this thing a massage. It broke. Didn't like it. Oh, uh, wait. Just, just pre-order some more memory fragments. They are kind of expensive, but at least they're dropping, right? They used to be more expensive. But like um, buying them here would be better, of course, when they're even cheaper. But since there is a live event now and I don't have a hunting outfit, I kind of want it. Okay, what do you say, chat? Streamer RNG gonna be present or not? I, I talked to Delph again and uh, like I, I did enhance something in between was a blue processing outfit 
uh, that one tap to te uh, to pen, but but since it was blue, it's not that special, I guess. It's still it's still really good, but yeah. Did did RNG abandon us? Find out now. Easy pen tonight. Uh, yeah, I enhanced my gathering myself. Maybe it's uh, it's skip prior to duo and uh, then no skip. Thank you. It's so tragic when it breaks and it falls out of the enhancement screen. That's when you know it's like really broken. I kind of want to liquidate some more stuff. Uh, like technically I should be enhancing the live things because of the live event. But I kind of also want uh, a griffin helmet actually. Maybe we can do that later. Or like just, just go with the flow and see what the right time is for it. How have you been chat? Something tinfoil about it is like not, not spam clicking it, but taking it a bit slowly, you know. Uh, in the game it needs to feel the tension that you have, that you're nervous about clicking. Uh, if, if you're not nervous about clicking and the game realizes that, then it's not going to give you easy pens. So the little breather is really important. So far I haven't gotten back-to-back -back tries yet tonight. Well, like I said, I did enhance a bit off stream. Sunk maybe like 5 billion into it or so. Oh no! <laughs> Broke some accessories. Yeah, sounds like a bad day so far for you, but maybe it's gonna turn around. And clicks didn't go. This can be brutal. It uses up all the memory fragments already. Like it, it tears through the memory fragments so fast. It's incredible. Mm, I don't want to wait. I need to set the buying PO a bit higher. And that new realist feature is weird. You want to cron your live clothes? <laughs> Why would you have many cron stones? Are you in an A? Your luck was safe for me. I sure hope so. This would be some kind of telepathy. I need good luck. I was lucky a few streams ago, but... Uh, Historically, I'm not like the most lucky person, right? So, like, I can use some luck. Maybe I'm somewhat lucky in real life. I'm not being uh, born in a bad family and uh, in a, in a country with a lot of violence and. Uh, not having any chronic illnesses and that kind of stuff. Uh, the deep stuff, you know. You gotta appreciate those things sometimes. I think I still have like an artisan memory box from an event that I haven't opened yet. 
I hope so. I'm not sure I open it. Maybe I did. There's some here. What does it look like? I don't know. But any way of cheating some artists and memories into the game is appreciated. But maybe I already opened it. I don't want to open other boxes because you can do like a box opening video. I like to save up like 100 days of boxes and open them all. Last time I did that, uh, the video got lost. Swap character. Aww. Okay, that was the first attempt. Mm, yeah, I kind of want to... Uh... Looks like it's been through an arch. Hmm? Oh, not you. Second last slime. Okay, you found it. This? Okay, cool, yeah. Very good. Let's just get max roll for no reason. That's not max roll, that was 25. <laughs> yeah, that had potential, I know, right? I was actually very happy uh, that they changed. Uh, the price is going up pretty quickly. I shouldn't be buying uh, the expensive ones, but like I didn't prepare the stream at all. It was just like a spontaneous decision. So I didn't liquidate my money yet. It's okay, losing a few millions um, to a wider weight. Uh, yeah, like why would you collect things from the Black Spirit safe if you don't want to use them immediately? It's just clutter, it clutters up your inventory and storage. And like my central marketplace looks like that too. Like you probably know about that, but if there's mysteries of summer again, it's good to have like a lot of different items. You never know which ones you need. Although having a little less wouldn't be bad, I guess. Yeah, so uh, if you want to do hunting, the first step is to get a pen hunter's clothes. I will make sure to cover that in my guide. And you need to be really lucky. That's also important. If you're not lucky, you might as well not hunt. That was very unlucky. I think there won't be a hunting guide. There was a lot for dinner today. It was too much. I only had one plate full of things and I didn't eat at all because even that was too much. It's not giving any tries. I mean, it's pretty difficult to succeed twice in a row. But having some more tries would be good. Here, 
it's funny when you said swap characters and I didn't. It immediately gave us a pen attempt on this character. Maybe you gotta say that again. I had that ticked. Probably wasted a bit. That's bad. I'm not really prepared to have like a, an extremely long session that escalates. I either want an easy one or I want to try something different, maybe. Can you hear the thunder? Oh, what happened there? That was a lot of chat messages at once for me. Is my connection not stable? Is hunting in a good spot silver wise? Yes, it's in a very good spot, but uh, it's like you need a Pegasus for it and you have to optimize your your uh, pathing very much, but um, like it's, it's, uh, it's a good life skill and I want to get into it. What is happening? <laughs> the window's jumping. That's cool. Let's get a pen like this. Yeah, you need a Pegasus for hunting, just to move around between the packs. But uh, it's not something I'll just explain. I, I, I'll rather show it as soon as I have the gear. Well, hunting gives you meat and it gives you hearts and sharps and black jump fragments and horse materials. These kind of things. Depends on what you hunt. I'm pretty happy with uh, uh, where hunting is, silver-wise. But the leveling is gonna be uh, a lot of work. Uh, well, like my first guide I'm gonna make is gonna be herbs, more herb rotations, and it's unlikely that I manage to finish the uh, hunting guide while the event is still ongoing. That's uh, that's just unrealistic. Did I already use up the? the money from selling the trash like all of it because that was that was a lot what's happening and this is so weird what is going on Hmm. 
Yeah, it didn't buy the memory fragments and there's just like just got one. I'm not sure what happened there. Yeah, like the hunting guide is going to be two parts maybe. Like maybe a portion of of leveling hunting and a portion of uh, making silver with hunting. And the leveling hunting guide is going to be faster to make than the other. But if you get into hunting now, then you're going to have to level it first anyway. So that's probably not a bad thing. Yeah, maybe I'll do like two more pen attempts and if it doesn't go, I'll leave it on Ted or something. Just for a while. You can still pen it after the event but of course getting a pen now would be really good speeds i'm leveling it has a hunting experience modifier on it as well it's brutal though the way it just breaks all the time Not sure why I sell these to cryo always. Maybe because they're fish. Feels good to do that. I have money in a lot of places. I think I'll cancel something. And don't stress about it. Uh, BDO is like that. You um, you get nothing for a really long time. And then you suddenly get a lot. It makes no sense whatsoever. But uh, I think it's very difficult to be consistently unlucky in this game. Like what you can do is you can have no resources and start enhancing and still expect to get a lot of uh, like uh, uh, new items and that obviously never works but uh, if you have a lot of uh, materials then uh, enhancing is generally like a pretty good experience overall you're gonna break a lot then you're gonna succeed a lot then you're gonna break a lot you're gonna succeed a lot it only it only really sucks if you don't have any materials and you still expect to succeed Not getting, giving any tries. I would really like some some tries. I'm not sure how much money I sunk into that in total. But um, I was like 1.5 bill that just disappeared really quickly. So maybe uh, it should be around, around like 6 or 7 bill so far. I'm not sure how much I spent before I started streaming. <laughs> and before I enhance the wrong thing. Give me a try. The amount of memory fragments this just eats, crazy. But uh, you need to have you need to have a pen close. Uh, it's not really cool, unlike you, uh, unless you have one. <laughs> I have had enough streamer RNG. Look who is talking. 
the guy one tapping the pens back to back. You'll never pen attempt. Come on. If you just play this game for long enough, then uh, it it is just natural that you're gonna pen attempt. I mean, what will you do to have fun in this game if not enhancing? It's a pretty good source of entertainment, both for viewers and streamers. And like, if you enhance for yourself, that works too. Hello, Mr. K. Long time no see. You won't penitent Manos. Well, if you don't pen attempt Manos, then you don't get a self-made pen Manos. That doesn't sound cool, does it? <laughs> of course, I wanted to talk to the pole. I didn't want to open the market window. But sometimes you just gotta understand that it's not the right time to enhance a certain thing and then you just click something else. Yeah, I'm good. Thank you, Mr. K. I hope you're too. I mean, I know we both enjoy techno and I suppose it's the same for you. It's difficult to find parties. <laughs> And it's not the most responsible thing to do anyway, at the moment. Oh, look, th this could have been a tap. It's a pretty uh, big commitment to, uh, to get into a new life skill. It takes like, I think, uh, 30 hours for Guru 1, 100 hours for Guru 28, 800 hours, no wait, 1,100 hours I think for, for Guru 50. Some guildies already have Guru 50 hunting. <laughs> Buying all the memory fragments. Yeah, don't do that, leave some to me. But if you're in a different region, go ahead, right? No. I'll have to make new things soon. Yeah, I only buy like 100 memory fragments. At this point, I should remember that I don't have any. Actually, could swap character, but uh, maybe let's first make some more stones. I don't have a lot of black stones, actually. Uh, could do like a quick run to Kaplan to exchange. Let's see how... Wait, no, that's dumb. Let's first start making <laughs> and then... set up uh, like or, or do the map stuff i dropped the powder i'm gonna need to grab it I'm running out of weapon stones at this point i think they're gonna become a bottleneck Uh, that's another how long does it take to do gatherings uh, question. Just use the calculator that's linked under all my gathering videos. I, I can't do math for other people because I can't do math for myself. The calculator does the math for you. It's really easy to use. Saving up for Black Star. Okay. So you were just a joking. Uh, which character has all the all the seals? 
looks like I cleared my seals recently. But maybe some of the desert characters. That's a few. Yeah, there's like just a hundred in Valencia. Let's see if there's many in here. Uh, yeah, that's not enough to run there now, but uh, can start a transport. I don't think it will arrive tonight. We're gonna be asleep by the time it arrives, probably, but... Why not start? Let's just go to Kaplan directly, maybe. You're gonna watch something and go to sleep. That is heartbreaking, you know? Like, I'm creating something you can watch and you're heading off to watch something. I feel so offended now. <laughs> what you gonna watch? Okay, I have some idea what you may be watching. You don't you don't have to you don't have to share. <laughs> How to get filthy rich? For the most part, pick one profitable thing and do a lot of it. Don't do too many things at once. Like, just, just have a focus, right? Just have a focus. I think that's really important. I'm not saying you should only, like, for example, you should only gather and never cook and never grind. Like, that obviously doesn't make sense. But, like, a way to approach this maybe is, let's say you really like gathering and you figured out it's profitable. Then you would only grind when you have aggress fever. You would only cook when you have enough gathering materials to make it worthwhile. And you, you will meet your daily imperial quota. And uh, in terms of uh, in terms of uh, the gathering, you would just put all, everything into gathering. And when you buy things, it would be gathering things to buy, like mana accessories and gathering tool and stuff like that. Just just focus, you know. It's pro wrestling, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I don't watch that kind of wrestling. Yeah, I can do voodoo dolls, but it takes a long time. I think I'm better off just um, just buying more black stones. They're so expensive right now. Everybody is getting black stones for the Jetina stuff, and uh, the Jetina stuff is so bad actually. Like now that I have two pen rings, it's like more obvious for me to feel like it's bad. But like it was bad before too. Because, like, what this does is, like, the, the free pen accessory, it, like, it's not free, obviously, you know, like, I have a guide about it and costs, like, 11 bill or so to make. But, like, the main problem about it is that um, you cannot retrieve the 11 bill. They are gone forever and they're stuck in that accessory. And when you just buy a pen crescent ring, it costs four times as much, but... Uh, you can sell it later to get a better pen ring and you like get 6 billion tax and, and you get 5 billion back instead of just losing like 11 billion, right? So um, it's, uh, it's not very cool. To get the Jetina accessories at all, I think. If you really want to go narcs, like they have some standalone value, but the rest, nah, I don't know. All right, quickly going to Kaplan, exchanging the seals into Blackstones. Gonna make more concentrated black gem fragments, things. And then uh, like buying more memory fragments as well. I still have some memory fragments on a different character. What do you do with the black gem fragments? They're not selling on the marketplace. Is there a way to make money with them? Well, you turn them into conks, like the red ones. And uh, 
you hold on to them forever until the conks are near max price. So like the hard part is accepting that you won't liquidate the money for a really long time, you know. But uh, like that's the, the smart thing to do. Buy black stones a lot when they're really cheap. Something I didn't do. Uh, get hearts and shards from hunting and get uh, black gem fragments from gathering and just um, combine them at a low cost and then wait until something happens to the market and it's really expensive and then you sell it all and cash out big time. Oh, thank you. Good night. It's a bit late for Europeans, I suppose. But uh, I had a lot of coffee today, and I had my uh, last bit of coffee fairly late, so I am not tired at all. I hold on to the trash loot from relics to uh, exchange it instead of just selling it. And I wait until I have a lot, so that it's like really worth it. Just 900 black stones. What is that? It's like, it's like 200 mil silver. Say 200 mil silver ride to Kaplan. It's not that good, but it's not bad either. Should I sell all my things like Kafra's memory fragments to provide for Manos equipment? If you're a new player, uh, it's not very good to use Kafras yourself. Like, uh, when you have full Ted's boss weapons and armor, and that's when you can start using Kafras on your armor. But uh, some people don't get, uh, like, C4 Ted's armor. Instead, they just skip it and go directly pen. That's not very good in a, like, uh, stats uh, per silver perspective. But, uh, like, that's an option, right? In any case, selling Kafras as a new player is totally fine. Uh, in terms of memory fragments, you wouldn't sell them ever. Unless you don't do your own enhancing, but you should do your own enhancing. Because enhancing is not that different from buying things on the market. If you have enough resources and you're prepared to wait a bit and like it's not always guaranteed that you get what you want. Sometimes you get something else that you also want, but maybe not as much as the thing you're focusing on. But uh, like enhancing is fairly OK and I don't want to pay the tax of selling enhancing materials and buying the things I want to I want to buy. Plus enhancing is a lot of fun and uh, I wouldn't sell memory fragments really. Like, even as a player who doesn't need memory fragments anymore. Because everything is already pen. Except, like, the, the griffin in my case. But, like, if I think a little bit ahead, let's say I have everything pen, I would still not sell memory fragments. I would just keep them and store them until they, they add new things to the game uh, where I need them. I think being a hoarder is uh, is a pretty good way to play video, actually. In other games, like uh, strategy games and stuff, it's a good idea to always spend everything you have immediately, because anything that's in your bank is not on the battlefield, and that damages you. But uh, in BDO, it's, it's a good idea to have a big bank, because... The worst thing you can do in this game is uh, have no resources, start enhancing, break everything you have, uh, grind a little bit or do a bit of life skill until you have a little bit of resources again, rinse and repeat, and you're essentially just constantly switching between having broken gear and grinding just enough to break your gear again. Uh, that is not only very unsatisfying, but it is also uh, stupid to play like this because 
you have a switching cost whenever you switch from one task to another. You have to travel across the map. You have to uh, kind of get in the groove of doing the new thing. And that's just really inefficient. I wouldn't recommend that at all. It's better to be patient and uh, to hoard some. And it can feel pretty bad when you save up a lot of materials and you know that statistically you should be getting what you want or maybe statistically you should be getting what you want twice so you're in a very good position to enhance and then you end up getting nothing like that can happen but uh, it can also happen that you have a fraction of the materials that you would normally need to get something and you just get it in the first click like my last tango ring it's really hard to predict and there is no point in predicting but uh, just don't be stupid and, uh, about enhancing I suppose you know enhance but uh, be reasonable about it <laughs> what this game has too much content the game has the game has a lot of grind but it doesn't have that much content i mean the content what is the content i guess you could say that the logs are content maybe because you're questing uh maybe getting like the 100 fail stack from the altar of blood is content you know like these are legitimately different things from the things you usually do but uh, i wouldn't say this game has too much content enhance your own horses uh Nah, uh, like, I think enhancing horses isn't, isn't like a positive return on investment usually because like, let's say you get really lucky and you get a horse on your first click, then you have to train it uh, from level one to level 30. And if you really like your horse and you care about its stats being good, you tend not to go and afk train it overnight but you ride it yourself or you're at least around the computer when you afk ride it and then you note down the stats it gets in a level up and when the stats are not good enough for a few level ups that's like a sign that you have to reset the horse and do it again and that is what takes a long time about getting horses it's not the enhancing itself it's it's about having the level one horse and resetting it until it is level 30 with the stats that you wanted to have this is the real money sink of uh, enhancing your own horses and that's why horses are something i would buy i mean like i have enhanced horses before and i got lucky on them but training them is just not cool it's really annoying because my doom horse was really easy to get I leveled it to level 30 it got all the skills but it just has very bad stats and it has bad stats since i got it i didn't reset it i should be resetting it but i know that the second i reset it i'll do nothing but level this horse for three days in a row and i won't make any silver while i'm doing that i'll actually lose silver because like if the stats are bad i'll do it again and it's just it's just very bad and so like if you want a fast horse, it's probably best to buy it. Horses are a bit of an exception. And you wouldn't enhance pen manus accessories because like a pen manus accessory is only like three to four times more expensive, but the chance of getting it is like way lower than like a third or a fourth. So um, the expected value is negative and you're losing silver when you're enhancing. But for most other items, it's not like that. It's uh, way closer. Sometimes enhancing is statistically better than buying, and sometimes it's statistically worse, but for most items, it's fairly close. Especially if you keep in mind that uh, you get uh, fail stacks. So like my boss armor was really bad. Uh, it, it costed me so much, but um, it built 250 fail stacks. And all of those 250 fail stacks are now in pen accessories. And that's where the real value is. I think my OBS bugged out a little bit. 
Uh, type something in the chat. I want to see if my chat broke. Yeah, this is a weird interface thing, actually. Uh, I'll watch my own stream for a second. I don't know what's going weird on. Weird interface thing, actually. Uh... Yeah, okay. My, um... wow, okay, that's weird. My, um, my dashboard is just lagging behind a lot. Okay, but that's cool. I'll read your messages now. You had to use 10 coupons to get all skills. Well, yeah, Moon, like getting all skills is is one thing, you know, but if you want to have all skills and good stats and you're not lucky the first time, this can be quite an ordeal. You're going to be sinking like a month into getting a horse with good stats. And and that really sucks. Uh, the lore of uh, BDO is just R. Like, just spam the R button. Nobody really uh, cares about the lore, I think. There might be a few people, but... Uh, like, the way you consume BDO lore is by reading about it in blogs and not uh, by actually following all the quests, unless you have way too much time. The developers conditioned it, uh, or conditioned us for, like, uh, a couple of years to just spam R instead of reading. And uh, that's the efficient thing to do. The game could be single player. Yeah, BDO is the single player MMO. It is. Like you you play and you're around people that you like, but you're not really playing with the people that you like. It's not like a guild activity is like doing the same thing together, unless you're doing like a node war or something. Most of the time you're doing stuff by yourself and, and you're just all playing the same game, but you're not looking at each other while while playing and stuff. Seven try Black Star for Ted, still impossible to get it. Mine took like over 30 attempts to go Ted, and then like 10 attempts to go Pen. Is logging still the best way to get Kafras? No, <laughs> it's not. The best way to get Kafras is uh, grinding. Because when you're logging, you don't get a lot except Kafras, but when you're grinding, you get a little bit less Kafras, but you get a lot of things that you can buy Kafras with. Hello there, <laughs> good to see you. A guild is about to get buffs. Yeah, uh, they want to do something about guilds, I guess. But um, buffing how a guild works and the mechanics and the, the you know, uh, the sort of benefits to being in a guild and the payouts, and that doesn't really affect the core mechanics of the game. And the grind model is still going to be mostly single player with a few multiplayer spots available. Thank you for liking my videos. I'm, I'm glad you like them. I like to have made videos. Making videos is difficult, but having made videos is great. That's what I like about videos. Oh. Do your things before reset. <laughs> it's a bit late to warn you about it, but... Easy. Yeah, I think reset hasn't happened yet. Oh wait, before this, and do some more of that. Maybe like four more, and then combine the things into into conks. I'm not sure. I wanna.
I want to enhance this forever. Like maybe I want to stop after the 100 Kongs are gone. And then I'll enhance something else. And if that doesn't go up and go to sleep, something like that. So we are looking at maybe like two hours of stream or so from now on. I don't want to overdo it too much. It's kind of late EU and tomorrow I want to make, uh, make a video. I started recording scenes for the video today, but uh, I uh, didn't finish the video yet. Because, like I said, I missed the Odraxia rotation. <laughs> that was so bad. Somebody messaged me about this uh, Odraxia rotation. And I lost the chat log. All of it. So what character has the stuff? I think is her. Yeah. Looks good. I broke my Urogons. I think I want to um, click a few more tats to pen. Maybe maybe I should do Nuver. I'm not sure yet though. I want to keep the bags a little bit instead of breaking them. Maybe I should... Uh, I should enhance the black star a bit and make like uh, tri clicks or so. I have another question. As a new player, should I participate in world bosses? Yeah, uh, you should. But you should not go with your main character. You should go with alts for two reasons. Uh, one is that the alts are gonna die to the boss, and uh, your main character could die to the boss too, and you would lose crystals and experience. Which is not a good thing, so uh, don't go with your main. And the second reason is travel time. So you want to be playing the main uh, quest on, on several characters and uh, use your alts uh, as boss alts and log on to them when the boss spawns. Like right now I could log on to this character, she's at Zarka, and I could hit the boss a few times, the boss dies, I get loot and I go back to enhancing and I don't lose much time. But I'm not doing it right now because I think my game is going to crash because there's too many players. But you get the idea. This is how you do bosses in BDO. If you got any other questions, let me know. I'm happy to answer them. I just don't do math questions. <laughs> what do I do to increase my CP like that? Uh, on low levels, it's questing. On high levels, it's uh, cooking. And the breaking point is uh, is fairly soon. I don't know by heart when the breaking point is, but questing is only good as a really new player. And then cooking quickly becomes the best option. Right. If you plan on crafting, you should leave your materials in the storage. So I guess I'm gonna do some enhancing on the alt. Don't have silver. Need to log on to uh, Heidel Alt and list some more stuff. Uh, Master Gathering is really important. Because um, at Master 1, your chance of losing energy is 7%, uh, sorry, 70%. And it doesn't go lower than 70%. So um, Master 1 is really where you start uh, gathering for silver instead of gathering herbs. If you want silver, of course you can gather herbs for way longer and uh, level your gathering higher. But uh, a master one is uh, is minimum. If you don't get master one, it's uh, it's quite inefficient.
to gather. And getting master one doesn't take long. It's really fast. Uh, I don't think the breaking point is necessarily at uh, 350. Like this is not an easy thing to answer the breaking point because uh, it's about the Olvia CP modifiers and it's about how long quests take versus how long cooking takes and what your cooking mastery is going to be at that point. So this is like a really really exp like a, a difficult calculation. This is not something where you just take some random number that's like uh, pretty to look at like 350 or 400 or 300 or 250 because you think it's some kind of CP breaking point uh, for for like how fast uh, the CP scales because like the question whether questing versus cooking is better for your CP is way different from how fast your CP scales. It's, it's, it's a really difficult question. I can't answer it right now. I would have to make a video to answer it. And to make the video, I would have to talk to people and do math for 20 hours. But I'm fairly sure it's not just 350. <laughs> it's more complicated than that. Like, most people don't even know about the Olvia CP modifiers. When you have, when you play on Olvia and you quest for CP, you get more CP than when you're not playing on Olvia. And it has different, like the curve that, that defines how much XP bonus you get based on how much uh, CP you have on Olvia. Like that is, that is like a, a function on its own. It's it's not linear. I have so much silver sunk into Valencia meal materials. I need to do something with them soon. I haven't been gathering lion meat for a long time. I need to do that. Uh, I can't tell you whether you should be a leveling, gathering or getting stuff for Imperials. It, it's, it's also not easy to answer. If you don't have red meat at all and you don't hit your Imperial quotas, then you should be doing your meat gathering and hitting your Imperial quotas. But uh, it depends on how much time you have to play. Like, if I was a new player and I didn't hit my Imperial quotas and I would have to gather, I would gather for uh, to, to hit the quotas and then I would start gathering herbs. But if you stop playing before you hit the quotas, then of course you should be gathering meat instead of herbs, you know. So, like, without knowing your situation very well, it's very difficult to answer what you should be doing. But right now there is a 50% life experience event and that makes you quicker at leveling your gathering. So if you plan to level your gathering at any point, do it now. Because this event is like maybe once or twice a year. And it is not coming back anytime soon. So make sure to use it. The reason why I'm liquidating my money and uh, trying to get some hunting outfit is because I want to make use of this event. This event, if I if I hunt very actively, this event is gonna save me maybe 10 hours of playtime in total. And those 10 hours are the reason why I enhance now. You really gotta respect this event. If you don't respect it, then you don't deserve a life levels. Just stay beginner one. buy magic hoe, log your equipment and do some plant gathering. I think most people should use the the rented hoe from 
uh, northern wheat plantation. It's fairly easy to afford. I made a mistake with the bread listing. I feel like I didn't really list a lot. I could sell this, but it's not really worth. I'll wait until it's like 10 bill or so when people are gambling. When they have the Jetina accessory. I swapped to the wrong character. Is it better to sell Valencia meals or just the sub meals? Uh, like cooking Valencia meal from the sub meals? Or no, like uh, cooking, cooking Valencia meal from the base ingredients is like 200 mil per hour. So uh, like you, you would make the you would make the Valencia meals. Unless you have so many Valencia meals that they're not selling anymore and you need money quickly, then you would sell some sub meals. But I think for the Valencia family, it's uh, it's a good idea to cook all the way up. For Belenos meal, it's fine to sell cheese gratin. You don't necessarily have to make the Belenos meal and sell that. Uh, the problem is just that the Belenos meal sells quickly, but the cheese gratin doesn't sell quickly. So uh, if you make too much cheese gratin and you list it on the market, you can crash the price. Or if like a few players are doing it, the price is going to crash. It's fairly impossible to crash the price of Valencia meal or, or sorry, a Belenos meal. Like that depends on external circumstances and as an individual, you don't have much impact on it. So what I'm saying is Belenos meal is always going to sell and Cheese Gratin is only sometimes going to sell well. No artisans on this character. Some in here. Well, maybe later with the artisans. I'll be right back. I'm going to get a refill.
I'm black. I think I know why the enhancement didn't work out so far. It's because Marlon didn't join us. He left the game, but he lives on as a dragon. It's like 1.2 or 1.3 bill worth of memes. And the Kongs, they're also like a bill, I think. Tell me if you need or like 800 mil or so. Let's go. Uh, you get horse skills when you autopath your horse, but... Uh, like you kind of still want to micromanage it, I think, with dream horses. Like, if it's your main horse, it's a good idea to note down the stats so you have some idea of what to expect of the final stats. And uh, you also want to use the course of spirit method where you use a coupon to um, reset uh, your skill or re-roll a skill to course of spirit. Like you, you gotta Google it or something, right? Like or ask on the horse Discord about the course of spirit method. It's about um, resetting. How does it work exactly? Like you delete your course of spirit skill and you guarantee to get it on the next level, or like not guaranteed guarantee, but the chance is very very high that you get it next level, and that's how you get max skills on the horse. But like getting getting max skills on your horse is like. That's like entry level, right? Like you, of course you're gonna have all skills. Like if you don't even have all skills, go home and, and do something else, don't play BDO. But like, let's say you have all skills and your horse has bad stats. This is what leveling your own horse is really about. You wanna have good stats, so you re reset it. And like, it's it takes so much time and it costs money and it's like not cool. So what I'm saying is if you want a horse with good speed and you you don't like have a high intrinsic value associated with like making it yourself you want to be buying that maybe ask people who are selling horses to sell it to you and that's weird and like coordinate something through the horse discord ask when people are selling stuff and and you know this kind of thing Let other people do the heavy lifting when it comes to horses. I think it's way easier to buy an extremely good horse from the market through some like coordinated peer-to-peer -peer trading where you like talk to the person on voice chat, you know when they're listing, you know when to buy 10 minutes later after listing. Like, getting a good horse like this is easier than making it yourself, by far. The tets are brutal on this. There was one test so far, and of course I had to click pen, I couldn't just leave it. Uh, like you should be enhancing some horses yourself, uh, but only as much as you get the free materials, I'd say, you know, like... You get these materials, right? You just get them over time from events, from attendance rewards, from boxes, from Pearl Shop. Like the silver items right now. I haven't bought mine actually, you know. Like those. And you want to make sure that you use these. Because they have no value unless they are, they are inside a horse. Like you wouldn't sell them for 100k obviously, right? You would... You would make them into a horse and you would do something with the horse, use it yourself or sell it. And uh, like 
you have to be a little bit flexible about it, you know, like when these are used up, your horse has high fell stack, but it's not a dream horse yet, then go ahead and use these. But like, I wouldn't go out of my way to buy them when I don't have these to make my own horse so that I can like level it for three weeks and pay like 60 in real life dollars to reset it or something, you know. This kind of stuff. Is it such a bad strategy to buy 10 manas close and then penitent on those and sell the resulting tries? Uh, I have never looked into that. Maybe it's a good strategy, but... Uh, like, I don't have... Uh, I don't have the silver. The way I liquidate my silver is bit by bit. And what you're describing uh, involves having a big amounts of silver at the same time. And right now I'm not doing that. Like, what you're saying, I'd look into it. But... Uh, I wouldn't do it without looking into it, you know. It's, it's worth exploring as an option. But getting, getting like a pen is not hard. I mean, just don't fail, right? And of course you fail a lot, but... Uh, in essence, you just have to not fail a few times in a row. And when you do that, you're good. Just needs a short lucky streak. Yeah, but like when it comes to horses, uh, this topic seems to be of particular interest tonight. I'd say that uh, people who really love horses and play BDO, they are up for some suffering. Because making horses yourself in this game is brutal. And while you're doing it, you're not making money. And while you're doing it, you're not making anything else. So it just eats a hole into your schedule. And you could be progressing in that time, but you're not. If you love horses so much that you place like high intrinsic value into making it yourself, then go ahead and do that if you really enjoy it. But it's a bad option for somebody who just wants a good horse. This is so tragic. I think I'm also kind of running out of things to cancel. Mm, all right. I need this bit for uh, for a video. Uh, just a second. Yeah, okay. I know that was weird, but like I need the scene. Okay, saved it. I need the scene I just recorded for a video. Uh, the scene of me collecting my guild wage. <laughs> it's one of those uh, and many short cutscenes that go into a final video. That is pretty to look at when it's done. And for a bit of context, it's uh, uncommon to have such a like so much money in the in the uh, guild storage. <laughs> well, I'm glad I motivated you to uh, make use of the event. Like, if you care about life skilling, you naturally care about this event. It's it's an important event. It just lets you save so much time, progress faster. Unlike this shit. Do keep in mind that there's a commission for each sale of goods you make here. 
gonna have to liquidate. I kind of want to liquidate my uh, pen or Ted Tanger ring. It is. We'll have to do that if I want to keep enhancing. Probably. I'll look at. I look at some uh, some other things to liquidate first. I feel like I want to sell this when it's higher value. Right now the prices are a little bit inflated due to the Koi event we just had. And uh, the other Termian buffs plus the drop event. So like there's a few things that inflate the prices. That was... Like, I just really wanted it to go Ted, you know. Let's do this again where it jumps. Like that. <laughs> I like that for some reason. Does it work like this too? Oh yeah. Well, we want it to go up, that's why we push it down. Yeah, but it didn't go up. Okay, I think I want to be taking a break from the from the Manos thing. That ate like a lot of silver just now. I'm going to think a little bit about what to liquidate. I saved these up for the villa, but we are not getting the villa yet, so maybe sell this. And this stuff is max price. I guess, why not? <laughs> I don't really need those, but like it's unlikely that somebody is pre-ordering them. Nope. What about this? I wouldn't sell an price anyway, I guess. Okay, I gotta think just a bit on how to get money. And maybe I wanna do a few clicks on the Black Star. I'm gonna list this a bit less expensively. This is such a weird bug, and where it thinks your market is over capacity. You can see the orange bar going to the left. And do people buy these meals at that time of the night? Oh, this is brutal. Yeah, that was the season thing. Ah, uh, not herbal juice. What the hell? Uh, you would make uh, Tanasha's Origin of Life, I think, for the most part. But it's not that great. It's uh, it's just better than nothing. Like, if you can, just list the herbs on the market and sell them bit by bit. But that takes a long time. It may be an option to hold on to them until the developers add a new way to use them. You can make uh, reagents with them, that's also an option. But it's a bit like bits and pieces and there's like no one best option to, to use them. It's a bit of like an ungrateful endeavor with the herbs. I'm liquidating some money on ALS and uh, trying to get some uh, some memory fragments. I think I also want to sell some of the those things. The price went up. That's interesting.
And this drops so much. What happened there? Oh no, it didn't drop a lot. It just looks like it dropped a lot. And maybe it's the grind event. People are getting more of them at orcs. Yeah, it makes sense. How am I doing? Uh, I'm all right, thank you. I would like to succeed in enhancing, but uh, it's not happening at the moment. So much money in BMCs, it's crazy. Did I list those yet? I don't think I did. The Black Spirit Crystal, that's a weird thing. How it goes up and down that much. Maybe they sometimes hand it out as a reward. I mean, really, that's such a weird crystal. That was good a long time ago, but it's not anymore. It's very niche. <laughs> Everybody gets these. It's natural that they drop. People who don't PvP don't need them. Usually. And yeah, like in the market there's nothing else to sell. Let's check other characters. Yeah, I want to I want to go to some characters and liquidate. I hope somebody buys the meals. They are like not min listed, min listed, but kind of min listed. So it would make sense. But I suppose meal prices are going to crash because everybody who isn't in Guru 50 cooking yet is leveling their cooking during the event. And that's why there is a surplus of meme, uh, uh, meals. Unless. And people aren't gathering enough to make the sub recipes, in which case people will buy meals to hand and Imperials. It's pretty difficult to like really tell what's happening in advance. What about her? She doesn't have a lot. Mm. Yeah, it, it's a bit of a pain that the necklaces dropped so much. I didn't consider that the pen Kaposha thing only launched now. Like, I thought that was already in the game. And the, I think it was uh, 76 million for a uh, base necklace was already factoring in the uh, Kaposha thing. But uh, we got the Kaposha thing quite late, and the price is dumped so much. I really hope they don't hand out more free gear, uh, like uh, like the Kaposha accessories we already have. I think in some official event they confirmed that they wouldn't do that. But uh, they already did it like a lot. And it's it's crazy to see these accessories so inexpensive. I don't know what's happening to the dandelion. There was something weird about it. I think the price went... Yeah, the price is, is just dropping so much. Everybody was holding on to their Corsair or to their boxes until Corsair released and now everybody's listing it at the same time. Was there something that gave us free dandelions? It's weird. What to do to get the free Kaposha? Uh, you just play season and graduate. Or maybe it's like a quest uh, related to season, but it's it's a season thing.
Mm, yeah, so it's back to Heidel. Uh, maybe liquidating some meals. And this enhancement is a little bit crippling, actually. Like, it's not the best idea to do this. But, you know, enhancing is uh, impossible to predict and sometimes just liquidating stuff and enhancing some more is just what you need to do. That was cool. I didn't realize there's still so much organic feed. Mm, yeah, you can swap the Kaposha around to other characters, no problem. You just can't enhance it anymore because it's already pen. Yeah, maybe list 6k. I don't have that much uh, Belenos meal. Yeah, I think I want to list. I want to list some of that at a lower price. I don't care if I lose a couple of millions. Just don't copy me. Like if you're not streaming, there is no reason to do what what I'm doing right now. I'm just selling stuff under value instead of waiting. I need to buy memory fragments though. Uh, wait a second. Uh, yeah, whatever, like 12 mil. What else can I list? I don't have blue gratin, I don't have blue micro cat. Gonna need the red sauce later on. I'm hoarding a lot actually. Like I still have the Penzarka. I think I wanna use that on an alt, but I don't really play on alts, like I don't want I don't know what to do. Never sell undervalue. Yeah, that's good advice. I'm not super sure what I want to be doing. I think I want to... Uh, I want to use those up first. And then I want to get a few memory fragments for the Black Star. Because getting the Black Star, like at least Supry, would be good already. It's a shame uh, there wasn't more luck with the uh, Hunter's Close, but uh, I don't want to force it, I guess. Is it worth to use the advice of Valk 60 to Penya to Vala? Yeah, you can do that. You would click Pen at like, or like, I don't know where you would click pen but personally I would click pen at like 55 plus or maybe maybe even 50 plus like I would start a bit lower but if you have a 60 fail stack you could you can use that I just wouldn't advise a Valk it or like a uh, Valk cry it I mean I wouldn't do that like don't push it to 70 that's a bit too much Pen to Vala, like you can't enhance it anymore after it's pen. And it doesn't have the greatest stats. So uh, like as a new player, sure, go for it. But uh, like if your stack closes in on like 85 and higher, you wouldn't use it anymore. I think it's better to use for a few TED clicks and then like a TED accessory. That's how you get more value out of the stack. 
So just know when to stop, I guess. But uh, right now you can do that. Maybe you can click um, Pentuvana three times, and if it doesn't go up, yeah, maybe maybe click it five times even, so that the stack is eighty-five, and then uh, like click one. Yeah, it kind of depends. Click one, two, three. Uh, like try to test boss items, and if it doesn't succeed, then you have like a one hundred ten stack for a try to test. Accessory. Mm, I can probably cancel some of pre-orders. It's already like the self-destruction part of the evening. Where we cancel essential stuff. It's harder to find concentrated black stones. Uh, you can just buy them from the market. Mm, you could you you can just buy them from the market. So chat, keep some of your your fairy powder for for the villa, but uh, don't overdo it. I guess like I have too much. The fairy powder is used to. Uh, put lights into your villa. I think that's very cool. But um, I'm not sure when we get it. Uh, it's been floating around since a while and we haven't gotten it yet. So don't uh, put too much emphasis on it, I suppose. Don't prioritize it, I should say. Did we get the memes? Not really. The gap is so big. Sometimes the numpad doesn't work. Okay, let's get rid of the the conks here and then click the uh, click the black star a bit. Mm, okay, you don't have you don't have, but you can buy hearts, right? Or are hearts sold out too? Like just put a pre-order, uh, even if you don't need it immediately, and the pre-order will fill over time. And when you're back to active enhancing, you'll have them. Like always, pre-order things you know you're gonna need, but don't need right now if they're hard to get. It won't go dual. <laughs> okay, yeah, all right, but time to do um, Time to do a bit of black star That has been enough suffering with the hunting outfit mm, I know my black star is like plus 12. Where is it? It's here. Okay. I think I need those guys to enhance it. And like a lot of black stones, which I don't have. Yeah, no need to thank. Okay, yeah, thank me. I like it. <laughs> now nah, it's all good, guys. It's all good. I don't know what stack to use for this. 20 probably too high. Actually, no, not really. Yeah. How much? Like 10? Okay. Maybe it's even too low. Yeah, it's just gonna... It's just gonna, like, uh, ruin me financially now. And Blackstar is evil. The way it does that.
Mm. Gonna cancel this. Gonna grind orcs tomorrow for like 10 minutes and I'll have the money back. I still need to use all of my event items. I like the percentage buffs. Uh, you can you can use the uh, Imperial Calculator uh, from Summer to check if they're worth it on your server. Like generally the answer is yes, but if you want like a more detailed answer, go to my Imperial video, which is the uh, I think it's called Imperials are never gonna be the same again, and uh, check the check the Imperial Calculator. Yeah, Vortex <laughs> is a good term for it. It uh, just uses a lot of fail stack, I guess. Look at that. It's it's a nice way to get fail stacks, for sure. Okay, I'm gonna start selling some... Uh, some of those things. Like, I have a full armor set. <laughs> it's kind of pretty. Uh, no, nah, I think I'll I'll sell something else. I don't know what yet. If it feels, it feels like that. I like that. Suddenly, you have all the memory fragments. Should I click some Valtara belts? I wonder, because I just want uh, like, what is the price of like a Ted? It's going up, but it's pretty bad. What about uh, what about rings? They're all bad. I guess I just have to accept that Ted accessories aren't worth anything anymore. But I have some fail stacks clogging up my, my band. Does anybody know what fail stack to use from um, like 12 to 15 on uh, on Blackstar? I can ask Ify, I guess. If he knows everything. My Shy has the... Uh, where is she? Here. She's got the Valtara Bells. I just want to get rid of a stack. Yeah, this is what I want. Well, my band is full either way, I guess. I'll have to buy like one thing to uh, to take out a stack. Like to play the Black Star game, you at least need to be in the in the prior range. I feel. Sometimes you just get like aggressive and you click, you spam click, and you lose so much. <laughs> Even if it goes up, you waste a fail stack. It's not very cool. So, chat, does anybody know how much uh, fail stack you would use for for this and black star thingy? 
30 plus. It makes sense, I guess. It's just, uh, really expensive if it fails and like a, uh, like a, a stack doesn't cost that much in comparison. Yeah. Easy. Maybe you gotta no skip it. It's getting a bit too high for my taste. I wanna click a few Valtara belts. I'll probably need the stack later. Oh, come on. Yeah, of course. Of course you fail. Easiest Trivalter bet of my life. And I don't want to click Ted, I think. How much do I gain from... I don't know, I lose like a hundred fail sack. I don't I don't wanna do that. Mm, yeah, thank you. I'm pretty sure you can force. Can you can you force it, really? Ah crap, you can force it. Okay. I keep forgetting that with Black Star. Yeah, I'll I'll force the next one for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I don't stream a lot actually. I mostly make videos. But my frequency is uh, pretty low either way. I need to build like a proper online income and then I can afford to spend more time playing. 9-5 jobs are like you need them to some extent, but they're like not the best thing in the world, I guess. Should I force now? Ah. Thank you. I'll I'll force the next one. <laughs> uh, yeah, true. Should make money with websites. Websites are cool. I can afford that, no problem. But affording the memory fragments now, meh. Yeah, buy more organic feed, please. There is so much value in these. Look at it. But I'm not selling it now. Hello. 
Hello, Havoc. I hate scrolling through the market and thinking about what you could be selling. I think I want to sell cooking stuff because this is what I tend to miss the least when I don't have it. I always have enough of that. And I should check my Altinova storage if there's something crazy to sell. I still have the Zarka. And I still have the Penta a Tetanger ring that I don't need. Somebody should buy my Trivaltar belt. Buy it, chat. It's, it's my Trivaltar belt. It's very cool and you can just tet it. There's no way you, you, you wouldn't tet it, right? Because it's blessed with my crazy RNG. Uh, Valencia. I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I can take a look at it in a bit. What's in here that's... Oh, the black stones are so heavy. That makes sense. I forgot about those. I'll just... Uh, oh, yeah, why not? This is still a good price for Baleno's meal. I mean... The price of Baleno's meal went up so much due to uh, due to the new Imperials. Let's take a look. Price is going up. I don't exactly know why, like everybody who would be cooking for leveling cooking would be making Valencia meals, so it should go down during the live XP event. But since we also have the drop event, I don't know how people use the live event. Maybe people are grinding orcs because it's even more silver instead of using the live event. And then they're just buying their Valencia meals. But yeah, whatever. Like, I just want to sell some Belenos meals at a shitty price. It's good without context, but of course, if you look at this gap, it's not very good to sell now. I lose 5 mil every time I'm selling. It makes a lot of sense for the sub recipes to be really expensive because of Valencia meal being high experience. Yeah, this is going up as well. Maybe Europeans aren't gathering. Yeah, like this is going up too. I guess Lion isn't the bottleneck for everybody in Europe. Because people, like some people are gathering Lion and some people are gathering Chira. It may have a little bit to do with my videos, but like I can see how the Lion video has three times as many views as the Chira video. So maybe people are interested in Lion three times more than, uh, than in uh, Scorpions and Snakes. Why not? I'll sell some of these. I still have so much, it doesn't really matter. Okay, but this is not a good price. Uh, okay. <laughs> I forgot that I cancelled my order. The gold meal never fills. I'm just like, this doesn't fill either. Pork rarely fills. I can cancel this stuff. Suddenly more money. Yeah, this is fine.
I list even more cooking stuff. Wow, nobody wants it. I don't remember, but I think I'm already lowest price. Mm, yeah, I was. <laughs> nobody wants a Medea meal. Crazy. Take more Belenos then, if you like it so much better. Maybe gonna get easy Black Star tonight. Who knows? Twenty two point seven is the lowest I go with Belena's meal, I think. Under normal market conditions, that's how much it costs. Or like that's the price where you can reasonably sell it without uh, too much weight. Just four, just four. I need to run my voodoo scrolls at some point. I just have so much. <laughs> uh, bit of UI lag. Hmm. Okay. Well. I don't mind lines actually. What I dislike about lines at the moment is that you have to ride your horse and they still have the thing in the game where your horse levels affect whether monsters attack them. So in a sense if you gather a lot of lion at some point lions will stop attacking your horse and then you can't gather lion on that horse anymore. This is what stops me. But I suppose I have a low level unicorn I can use. Just swap to it. Does my Garmoth alt have money? No. Does he have money? Not really. Okay. I'm back to her. What stack do you use for Pry? Like, I need to note it down again. I know that he uses uh, like seven. No, wait. It was 50. It was. It was 75, wasn't it? It was like 55 for. Duo to try. Seventy five for try. To, no, that's that can't be. I have way too much paper on my desk. A red meat video script is still here. Oh, this is gonna be annoying. Oh no, that was easy. Actually, it was on top. Okay, so 35 to 45 for duo. I have those stacks on uh, my Mystic, I think. She has them. This looks good. Yeah, I want to swap to the Mystic and move the stacks to this character. Just need to put some random things in my inventory first. Like these books. That works. Yeah, thank you. That's exactly what it says on my paper, except... Wait, that's a bit weird. Prior to duo 30... Duo to try... Yeah. Okay, no, but like right now I'm doing 15 to pry. Is that the same as pry to duo? Probably around that, right? My paper says uh, like um, duo to try till 80, uh, to, to 75, not to 80. But I guess the five stacks aren't going to make much of a difference. Hope it all fits. Easy. Mm. 
Yeah, there is no more things to open except these, but they are for a box opening video. But no like fail stack things to open. Thirty seventy. They give so much free stuff. Like like two years ago or three years ago, the thought of them giving you a seventy fail stack is kind of insane. They would on super rare occasions give you like 100 fail stack, but only like twice a year or so at most. And now they just casually hand out these 70, 80, 60 stacks just for attending the game. No surprise, everybody has like 700 gear score now. Welcome to Thalia. Need to use the storage? It's a bit of a rat race. If you don't have a lot of time to play, it's kind of hard to catch up. And it doesn't really matter how much catch-up mechanics they implement, it's just about how much time you put in. Because like, if everybody always puts in the same amount of time, your catch-up mechanics are only going to do so much. Other people are still going to have a slight advantage. But like hitting medium gear is really fast now, I suppose. So catch-up is working. Repair it. It didn't fail, no. Is everybody asleep? Is nobody selling memory fragments? Okay, I'll I'll be right back. I'm black and maybe I should liquidate some of the stuff I don't need from various storages. I like not tonight obviously but you know like long term this stuff like this is two billion and like I'm gonna use the coconuts for meals but like the wood I don't think I'm gonna use that ever so much stuff in random storages i clear out this one fairly often but it still has ore yeah it's crazy what a worker empire just gathers for you when you're not looking at it hmm. i should be next maybe maybe don't buy too much immediately okay if i'm not mistaken it now uses the special stones that are more expensive to make but i still have some it's those guys and that looks right and it's 20 durability per click. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot to do. And I'm gonna I'm gonna keep streaming for like another 45 minutes or so, I think. 
Unless I get super addicted, which is not exactly unlikely, but... Yeah, I want to look at what a stack of 35-ish. 60%. Okay, that's a bit too high. Uh, I think that's better. It's just one click, like right? It's a coin flip, and we lose it. We win it. Okay, uh, now it's really about... Uh, Memory fragments. <laughs> uh, I wanted to get lucky on the hunters thing. Now it's just biting me. But hey, with his stack and all, it should be good. Bait. What language is that? Fifty-five for the next. This should do. Why not Valkyrie? Don't have a lot, but every little bit helps. Turkish. What does it mean? Fifty five to seventy five. Can you use the other stack? Yeah, now it gets really expensive, I guess. But imagine just getting like a really easy a really easy black star. That would be so cool, right? Oh, but this is brutal. Look at the price difference between buying and selling. <laughs> okay, that's beautiful. I guess there is no translation for that, but thank you. Cashing out big time on the BMCs. Can afford buying, like, <laughs> so crippling. Is everybody enhancing right now? Why is it so expensive? But like this is perfect, you know, there's this there's this life event. Everybody's super hyped for getting life items. And I just give up about it and enhance Black Star instead. Imagine just getting Black Star in such a situation. That would be like historical, right? Stakes are high. Last Black Star was financed by Black Spirit Adventure. Maybe this one is financed by a life event. Yeah, it's a very fancy way of saying good luck. It's more interesting than just saying good luck, but... Easy. And Ted is 110 to 150. Let's do that. I have a stack that's a little bit higher. 
But it's okay. I think I want to push. Tet Black Star. I'm just adding that. Yeah, I can click this at least once. Maybe I'll click it twice. I don't have Pen Awakening Blackstone yet. And Black Star. Uh, oh, she has it, I think. I'm jealous of people who have better gear than me. They worked for it, but I want it too. Let's just one tap the Blackstone to Tet. Black Star. Jesus, I can't speak tonight. 8% is not so bad, right? Let's just. Aww. I wanted it. How to make these? It's. You need Kafra stone. It's ten Kafra stone in each of them. No, that's that's different, right? Heart sharp. Mass of pure magic. I'm gonna need some sharps actually. Didn't expect to be running out of those. And there's a gathering event. Still running out of those. The hell. Mm, I haven't watched that, no. Uh, but um, I heard it's one of the better series. Uh, the event is 50% life experience. Mm, why are sharps cheap? I think uh, hearts are just the bottleneck. You need more of them. And even though you get a few more compared to hearts, you need a lot more. No way, like... You, you you get more hearts, but you need more hearts, even more than you're getting. And you don't need that many sharps. And you're getting less, but, but you really don't need them. That kind of thing. <laughs> and like the whole life gear portion of the game, I think it's not such a big factor because grinding is in fashion at the moment. And uh, life skilling isn't that great. That's why people don't need both hearts and sharps. They just need hearts to uh, fail psych and get armor and stuff. Uh... Mm. Just staring. Uh, this. Yeah. But it's not a very satisfying answer, I get that. I was I was being a bit lazy about it. I didn't think too hard. <laughs> good point. Okay, great. You're buying it nonetheless. Perfect. You're a good follower. <laughs> okay. 55 to 75. This. <laughs> well, like, uh, historically, when you look back, the situation was different. There was a price difference between hearts and sharps, and, uh, like, both were near max price at some point. 
and shards are more expensive because they drop less often. And when not everybody had boss items, it was... Will I get it? <laughs> the fuck? Is nobody online to buy this? I was so slow. Mm. Now we got even more crons, which means we gotta liquidate a bit more before we get to use them, but uh, that's fine. That is fine. Oh, I'm already... Okay, cool. <laughs> but did you see how slow that was? I was like... Slow-mo buying it. Mm, yeah. Okay, let's repair something. Don't I have memory fragments? Okay, that looks good. When you do like semi-AFK activities and you have the market open and you're around the PC and you manage to snipe outfits, that increases your silver per hour so much. In Europe at least. Where you don't get free everything from the market. 35 to 45. Let's click this once. Cool. It's so brutal when this breaks. 55 to 75, maybe one more time. Okay. Can we get like a, a guild payout maybe? <laughs> Just, just gotta get the money from somewhere. Oh, it's so tempting to just sell the ring. Ah, fuck it. If it sells immediately, I'm not gonna go to bed in an hour. It's gonna take longer to use up all of this. I think I'm not sleeping enough midweek. I'm not particularly like efficient at stuff, but I'm working really hard. I'm the kind of person who uh, gets overworked, but doesn't really know what they're doing. Okay, I wouldn't say that, but like, let's say, let's say you can do like 80-20 Pareto principle, or you can give like a 100% always. And I'm like the 100% always guy who would just exhaust themselves instead of like working smart, I suppose. And that's why I space out while I'm enhancing. Oh no. While the memory fragments are filling, I want to uh, make some more stones. Why is there a tissue scroll on my on my that's so weird? Well, yeah, maybe maybe I, I managed to make like a smart video once in a while, but you know, like um let's say I could make a gathering video that is like a little bit worse, you know, but I would just have five of them instead of just one. Like that would be better, wouldn't it? And this is what I mean. If you plan on crafting, you should leave your materials in the storage. Like, I'm not saying I'm stupid, but... I just try way too hard sometimes. And because I try way too hard... 
there are some things I just don't get done because I'm busy perfecting other things. Okay, I have like no money right now, but it's still always good to buy crons. Even if it slows down the rest of the process, because this is free money. And you never say no to free money. What is going on here? Just listing them all. I should give myself some slack. Well, I don't know, like, there's a lot of content creators who are realistic about this, who say that, okay, Black Desert is not large enough to uh, finance my life. And, uh, even if I get like as many viewers as some of the best content creators in the game, it's not enough for me because the game is too small. And that's why I treat it like a hobby and not like a job. But uh, I can't do that. I can't be realistic about it. I'm going to try hard it like it was my job. But of course, like I don't have the same results, you know. There's people who do daily uploads that have like maybe 70% of the quality of my videos. But like I'm doing one upload every 10 days or so while other YouTubers are doing daily uploads. And while the videos might be slightly worse, there's just so many more of them that in some it's, uh, it's better what they are doing compared to me. And they're just better at being YouTubers. And of course I want to get there. Wait, did I not do... Oh yeah, uh, I need to get the hearts, the shards out of my market. Did I buy them? I did buy them. Pretty sure I bought them. No. Maybe I didn't buy them. Uh, did I put them into my central warehouse? Did I get distracted by all the items I bought? Maybe. Yeah, I want to sell the hoof roots. I can just gather. Buy them back later. Easy. Okay. I'm playing on EU server. <laughs> it's funny, sometimes people look at my gear and they assume that I'm on a private server. But it's retail. Oh, I need to use heating. That's weird. Okay. I'm gonna lose so much time if I don't mass process, so I'm going to mass process on my main. Or actually, if my heating stone is in the center market... No, it's not. Right. Yeah, I don't want to sell my Kafras. I want to... I want to use them to get uh, better armor for orcs. And yeah, like, uh, sure, my videos are search optimized, but um, they... Um, 
like recency is always a factor, you know. And YouTube is going to promote more recent content over older content. And sure, like it's it's not that black and white. Like if my video is really good and somebody uploads a video that's fairly superficial in comparison, then uh, I'm gonna get the clicks because YouTube rank my, uh, ranks my video higher. But it's not gonna work forever. Uh, at some point, somebody else is gonna make a video that outranks mine because it's maybe as good or slightly worse, but way more recent. And then it's not gonna give me any clicks anymore. Or not as much anyway. And it's not just about search, it's also about branding. Uh, is that all I need? No, it's not. What am I missing? I think that is actually all I need. Okay, let's try it out. Hey, very cool. <laughs> I like how they made the sound of you getting money longer if it's more money. Makes it extra satisfying. It's those small things, you know, like your average player doesn't notice it, but subconsciously it feels really good that the game is that detailed. I'll leave the market window open in case somebody is listing more cron things. Uh, there is a bit of a chat delay sometimes, chat. Uh, I read all the messages, but sometimes I just take a little longer. Uh, my dashboard has been weird today. Uh, you don't really need you don't really need weight if you gather because you can stack the trade items on your horse. Inventory sp slots, it depends on whether you gather herbs for leveling your gathering and whether that's close to a town. But uh, I'd say that inventory and weight are not a priority for gathering. But when you use the items to cook with later on, you should have max weight actually. Like, it depends on whether you're a casual player or if you want to maximize efficiency. If you want to... If you want to uh, get to the top, it's probably a good idea to get max weight on one character. Yeah, it's possible I didn't answer that question. Uh, well, I'm glad you like my content and uh, thank you for the compliment, but um, you know, being smart isn't always helpful because when you're smart, you're usually also reflected and you realize that there's a lot of things you don't know and a lot of things you're not good at and a lot of things that other people are better at. And, you know, sometimes being less smart and just doing things instead of overanalyzing everything, is uh, better. If you a from me, so in the end, storage, intelligence is a bit like a weapon and you need to learn how to wield it. And it can get into your way sometimes. So like, it's, it's really nice if like, I make the impression of an intelligent person, but when it comes to YouTube, I'm not sure that I'm very good at using my intelligence in a way that isn't overcomplicating things for me. Story of my life. <laughs> yeah, there's a few people feeling like this, I'm sure. Uh, I think there's also like a book about uh, about intelligence versus stupidity. I don't, I don't remember the title, but like the the main message in that book is that society is tailored around keeping stupid people alive and intelligent people are being misunderstood and they're just bored all their life. And the author is such a scumbag. Oh my God. Like, uh, he just... 
he just picks on people and like he's uh he's really unfriendly it's i wouldn't read it or recommend anyone to read it it's way too elitist like he maybe has a point but the way he phrases it all and stuff really feels like he looks down on people and it's a bit it's a bit weird that book but some people treat it like the the next bible <laughs> what the hell Yeah, I think, uh, I think it's pretty important to note that there isn't a single life that isn't difficult. Of course, this is like spitting in the face of people who have a truly difficult life. But I feel like if you live in a difficult situation, uh, you are more appreciative about the good things. And if you get everything you could possibly want, you will find ways to be unhappy. So... In the end, even though everybody has different circumstances, I feel like maybe most lives are about the same difficulty to live, if that makes any sense. Uh, well, Nabi, it makes sense that the smart people are benefiting the less smart people because worst case you have a revolution of the majority that ends up killing the smart people and that's worse for everybody so it's like smart people are buying peace uh, i don't like using that uh, image with the word smart i rather like using it in the context of rich and poor because like a social market economy works exactly like that you try to uh you try to bribe the poor into not uh, doing a revolution and taking everything from the rich. With with the whole smart and less intelligent perspective, I don't think it works. But with rich and poor, I can see that. But uh, about like a social market economy, I feel like it's sort of like making it difficult to become to become uh, rich if you're poor at the same time you know like if you're like in a free market economy and you're poor and you do really good because you're smart or really caring or try hard you know then it's easier to become rich than in a social market economy <laughs> or is it called socialist i, I don't know It's been a while since I had economics in class. Thank you. That was a fairly low stack. I had to check twice to see if that actually just happened. I want to click it one more time. <laughs> yeah, everybody has their difficulties in life. But um, something that like I can't answer is, I feel like because every life is difficult and stuff, you know, like everybody deserves some respect. It doesn't matter if they're like, a beggar a, a junkie or a princess you know like either way they deserve some respect but at the same time respect should be something you earn and not get for free and and that's a bit of a weird one i think how how do you treat people with respect because like if you respect everybody equally then there's no incentive of improving at anything But disrespecting people isn't okay either.
Go Ted. Aww. Okay, that was two failed Ted attempts so far. I forgot to update the counter earlier. I want to use the stack on him. Uh, yeah, it should be more about redistribution, I guess, than combining or sharing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if like, uh, if like a chat in a live stream is the best place to discuss politics, but personally, I don't mind like put it in there. Like what could possibly happen, right? Like even if you have like an extremist view on something, I feel like it's important to uh, to discuss things, you know, like maybe not necessarily here, but like in general, don't prohibit exchanging ideas just because they may offend some people. It's kind of more offensive if you can't even say things. Because <laughs> stuff is just going to slumber below the surface and then things are going to escalate later on and nobody wants that. Hate speech. Yeah, kind of, I guess. The spectrum of things you're allowed to say has grown more narrow over the past few years. And that's, that's not a good thing, I guess. And it's a bit interesting like that this happens in a democracy because I don't think at any point has, or okay, that's, that's like difficult to say, but like most countries are fairly free in the way they operate and everybody gets to live their life the way they want. But at the same time, you really have to filter what you're saying, you know? It's more difficult than ever to not offend people. And to me, that's a bit like the opposite of freedom. <laughs> and, but at the same time, I kind of understand people who have made experiences that uh, gave them reason to be offended. It's not like they are just offended because they, they feel like it. Uh, they maybe had some really bad experiences. I'm gonna break some of those stacks, I think, with the Urugans. By accident. Need to feed the workers. <laughs> I don't think it's like that bad offending people, but if people sort of conspire against you because you offend them too much, and that becomes a problem. It can legitimately destroy your outlook on a career and this kind of stuff. I'm gonna need another 55 stack, so maybe let's convert this into one. This is now a Black Star stack. But uh, I'm gonna need memes again to push the other stack higher so I can enhance. It's ridiculous how expensive this game is if you don't have money. <laughs> I mean, it's not just this game, but the thing I said you shouldn't do, enhance with no resources, is exactly what I'm doing right now. And technically I could just liquidate whatever and make a lot of money, but I'm not really doing it unless the ring sells, so...
You've had a little bit too much uh, to think, my friend. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, that's a weird one. Mm, yeah, like people lose their jobs over being misunderstood on social media. <laughs> it's ridiculous. If you are... If you are at a certain uh, sort of like career level, you know, like in, in a management or decision maker position, I think there's no way around uh, like uh, using social media. You just have to do it because people expect it from you. It's part of your job. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> I have to... do some clicks on a pride to duo item and of course the duo always succeeds <laughs> can you sell trash loot from the campsite you should absolutely buy the tent if you want to play bdo because it's really annoying to play without it but uh, you can only convert uh, gold bars at the tent into silver. Or you can buy gold bars at the tent, but you cannot. You cannot sell trash loot. Just, just go. Thank you. And I go try and then go tap. Hey. My last Black Star was so bad. It would be great if the Awakening Black Star was easy. It would be so good. I would be so happy. I want to click it one more time on this stack. If it fails, I can still use the other stack. It's like 110 to 330. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I couldn't imagine converting gold bars on else that I first have to move around. I guess with the archaeologist map, it wouldn't be so bad, but it's not a good idea not to have a 10 in video. It's just the real cost of the game in a sense. Do you have fun playing video? Oh no, I really hate this game. You know, I'm full Ted. Uh, sorry, I'm full pen because I really don't like the game. It's such a bad game. <laughs> what is this question? Of course it's fun. That's why I do it. Okay. Let us get this. Can you see the Ted? I can see it. Okay, uh, I can still see it, but maybe not yet. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the F, thank you. But maybe if this stack goes a little higher, this is also okay, because this is going to be a uh, try dead god stack. Yeah, about the tent, if you don't have it, you have to organize your gameplay around not having it. It's a bit too much of an ask. Welcome to Beric. Need to use the storage? I mean, yeah. Uh... You can cling to a game like you would cling to a bad relationship, but uh, I don't think that's the case with uh, BDO and me. <laughs> there is so much stuff I haven't done in the game yet that I really want to do. 
and in a sense part of playing this game right now is just preheating for the good times. I wanted to go try in one click. I don't want it to downgrade. Hey, the tries are bonkers tonight. I'm kind of addicted clicking this stack. It's not super worth it, but I want to click it again. I live in Germany and I suppose my accent sounds like that because of that. Like I don't really hear native speaker English unless I watch movies, but like if I watch movies, then I hear all sorts of things and not necessarily native speaker. But a real German accent is super thick. Now that stuff sounds... Whew. Yeah, that's classified. I don't talk too much about where I'm from or where exactly I'm from. You gotta keep some secrets, right? What do you say, chat? Click or no? I already swapped to this character, but it looks a bit like. Uh, let's just go. Mm, I hope, I hope it will stay this easy. With the tries. Do I have fail stacks on this character? Yes, a lot of them. <laughs> My arms are just ah, sonic unhealthy. So something I like to ask I mean, obviously, since you're here watching the stream, you have some interest in watching streams, but like if it's about stream versus video, do you like to watch both or do you prefer one or the other? Denmark is very cool. <laughs> now everybody's going to speak German to me. No, I don't want to say where I'm from. Like, I don't mind saying where I live, but I don't want to say where I'm from because the moment I do, people are going to address me in my native language and then people uh, won't be able to understand what's going on in chat. And that's why I don't want to share it. That's like the main reason. And I suppose uh, there's other smaller reasons. I haven't really made up my mind about whether I want to um, separate my gaming life and my real life or whether I want to um, sort of merge them into one. And until I haven't decided, or like until I have decided, I'll keep them separate. It's uh, the safest thing to do. Uh, do you, do you happen to know where I can check the unknown pieces, which part is from? Okay. Which mob it is from? Like, it depends on, it is map pieces, right? That is, uh, <clears throat> in this place here. No, no, wait. That's actually here. That's here in Kafra's cave. And there's like a guy in Kafra's cave in the in the back who uh, identifies it for you. Mm. 
Mm, yeah, personally, I'm like more of a video guy when it comes to consuming content. When it comes to creating it, I guess I'm a bit more flexible. So I just got the fail stacks. Now we got to push them a bit higher. Can click this later and turn it into a 200 stack and click the dead god. It would be nice to make like a little bit of a game tonight. You know, not fail everything. That'd be great. So I'll break this. Thank you for breaking. Very kind of you. That works. I didn't talk to the fail stack. That's why it didn't work. Potentially waste. Yeah, waste. Okay, well, when it's like dual to try, I need to talk to the stack for a bit so it succeeds. So I really want it to go up, please. It doesn't always work. Did the memory fragment pre-order fail? I hope so. Oh yeah, it did. All of it actually failed. There is a bit of a cash flow going on. Very cool. Uh, if you'd like to see some farming, you mean like actual fences and, and like crops or just getting, getting like grinding monsters. Like, when I stream, it's usually a spontaneous decision, and I tend to I tend to do late night stuff. But uh, yeah, I haven't really thought about it. Like, uh, I don't I don't have a stream schedule or anything like that. And like, I wouldn't mind uh, making money on stream or something. But uh, I'm, I'm not really planning it, you know. I mostly do video stuff. And the streams are always like pop up. And they tend to pop up at night because that's when I'm awake at, on the weekends. Mm, but I guess I could make a stream schedule. Like I first want to figure out the video situation. I kind of feel like I'm... Uh, not uh, doing enough with videos yet uh, for the most part it would be uh, really comforting for me to have a lot of videos pre-made that i can just push online whenever instead of like sort of surviving week after week but i'm not there yet oh come on Yeah, and for some reason, like I tend to, I tend to overcomplicate my videos. Like I always, uh, I always choose to spend more time making a video a little bit better instead of just moving on to the next. And my frequency is so low that I'm a little bit uh, uncomfortable about it. Actually, I, I would love to have a higher frequency, but. Uh, it just takes so much time and I'm not good at it. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, you only see the end product and it may be a good video, but you don't see how much I struggle to make it. Oh, 
How many hours did I spend on my line and red meat videos? The line video was crazy. Uh, there was a lot of coffees and it was midweek and it was a lot of drama. But I think I took like a day off in the week and I made the line video, so that helped a bit. But the line video was over over 30 hours. And the red meat video uh, is super, super difficult to tell because that was very fragmented. I talked to a lot of people to make it and they were online at different times and I put the video on hold for like for like a month or so and then I picked it up again so um, that was not a lot not like a, con a consistent session at all it was it was on and off but I think that the red meat video was not quite as complicated to make as a line video because a lot of the footage was just rotations and there wasn't like as much special effects and stuff going on but yeah like from a financial perspective this is really not efficient <laughs> what i'm doing if i wanted to make money and i kind of do want to make money uh I should just spam videos and not worry about the quality as much. But I'm not doing that. I'm always hoping that you guys are helping me out financially on Patreon. So I can uh, keep making quality videos. But um, uh, maybe there isn't like a real market for like quality YouTube videos in a game as small as this one. I mean, the game has a lot of players on the paper. But... Uh, if it had like a really a lot of active players, people would be watching my videos and uh, they aren't getting that many views. Because I think it's fairly hard to optimize videos even more than I do. And there's popular topics and unpopular topics and something like red meat is very specific. So that is not a video everybody in the BDO community watches, only a few people watch it but I optimize it a fair bit so that the people who are interested in the topic should see it based on the algorithm. And that's like a fairly small amount of people. Because if it's online for like four or five days and only 5,000 people watch it, like that's not sustainable from a YouTuber's point of view. If I want, like if I had to live um, from a YouTube channel, like even if I went full full time instead of instead of like part time, and I had like three times my current output, it wouldn't it wouldn't finance my life, not even like a third of it or something. And a lot of people, uh, a lot of YouTubers I talk to, also be your YouTubers just say like, um, I treat it like a hobby. And sure, like that's one way of handling it, right? My voice is too official. Nah, like, I don't think I'm gonna not script my videos. Because scripting the videos ensures that I... Uh, that I don't, uh, like, spread misinformation. There's so many videos that are not scripted, but just, like, outlined and improvised that spread misinformation. It's crazy. Like, I'm not the only tutorial YouTuber uh, in BDO, and I know that some of the others spread fairly big misinformation in their videos because they do not script their videos and they do not peer review them. There is only so much accuracy you can achieve by outlining, and I'd rather sound like I'm reading out my videos than, uh, than uh, rambling and spreading misinformation. And I don't think there's a lot of potential in uh, trying to sound like I don't read it out, even though I'm reading it out. 
I think that's just bullshit. Like, it doesn't it doesn't happen. I'm a little bit afraid of running out of stacks, or rather black stones, since stacks are essentially like no longer a thing that slows you down. I guess I can click the 33. Brutal. These stacks are all too high. I need to click this stuff now. Meh. Yeah, first I need to repair one of the lower tier items, and then I click the Urogons. I hope they don't go dual. Or it doesn't really matter if they go dual. My inventory is quite full. Or rather, this one doesn't have many slots. I haven't played Season this season yet, and I haven't really decided what character I want to use. I'm fairly certain I don't want to use Corsair. I don't actually like Corsair. Yeah, but like, I guess if you want to listen to some casual talk out of my mouth, you have to, uh, you have to watch my streams. <laughs> like, especially when I don't have like an audience, like a live audience is very hard for me to just ramble. There's people who can do that. But I find it quite unsatisfying and I don't really have inspiration I'm glad that some people like uh, scripted videos it's a bit of a niche on its own but of course it takes a lot longer to make and uh, and that has neck breaking tendencies maybe i switch to uh, i should switch to like a website format where i just write things out as a blog post and that could be an option Let's put these gloves in there. <laughs> Goods registration takes a little time. Yeah, rambling can be a bit of like a waste of time, I feel. And I like to respect people's time. I don't always live up to that, but I try to respect people's time. And the only streamer in BDO that I watch is Curseborn. And I'm not like somebody who consumes a lot of streams, I suppose. Why? It's gonna blow up every single stack I have.
Oh yeah, technically I should click that. Alright, what exactly am I doing? I need to build like a... I need to push this stack higher. Okay, that's why I, I made duos actually. Yeah, I remember now. I remember. Okay. Uh, why not, I guess? Sure. So what now? And now I repair the Oregons and go again. And I don't have memory fragments, do I? Of course I don't have memory fragments. Mm, the Devourer piece is the more rare one, I think. D -d Devourer? I, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. I know it's Devourer, but like if it's a noun, it's sometimes... Like English isn't consistent, it, it sometimes just changes. And there's no system. Okay, maybe I go a bit lower on these. Yeah, dissolved uh, is. It's not really something I've th I've thought about, but uh, I kind of don't really see myself making a video like that. I'd rather focus on individual spots and teach rotations instead of like you know, going big picture. I mean, there aren't many spots you can grind. There is orcs and monastery. There are other spots you grind only for cup pieces. There is Sikraya and Star's End. And to be frank, there isn't anything else. All of the other spots are either specialty purpose, like potion grind, or you shouldn't be grinding them but you're probably grinding them because you chose a bad class to start on, you know? Like, sometimes it's a good idea to pick a good class to start on and then use it to get gear for the class you really want to play, even if that class isn't as good. And that is just gonna be better. And because, like, you can have 230 AP and grind Star's End on some classes, whereas other classes need, like, 270 Kutum or something. And that's just a huge difference, you know? I think I need to list some more Belenos meals. Let's take a look at Medea meals. Is anybody trying to... Oh, yeah. What happened there? Okay, I'm easy. <laughs> Look at that gap. Is that really how it works, Navi? I've gotten a lot of uh, good things on a uh, in a fairly long session, <laughs> but I like all theories about RNG, they're always cool. So enhancing the Urugans to Ted is not really on the agenda today. But if they go Ted, I'll click pen. I might also click pen on the bags, maybe. But the bags are like a season item, so I can't sell them if they go. It sucks if this goes up. Thank you. Okay, that works. Nice, another Ted attempt. Remember having 
I remember having like 30 TED attempts in one night and not getting the black star. That was horrible. I hope this black star is better. I want to click it again. It's so high, the stack. I shouldn't be doing it actually, but I kind of want it. What to farm on 270? It depends on what your class is. Like if like a 270 AP should be grinding Sakraya. If you can't grind Sakraya on that AP, you're playing a bad class or you are not skilled. That's kind of how it is. Because like 270 Sakraya is not even like a high AP for Sakraya. It's just average, I guess. Scary. 9%. It's almost 10%. 1 in 10. Since the last one didn't go in like 30, this one. Is this really the third attempt or is it the fourth? I, I'm not sure. I think it's the fourth attempt. Wait a sec. It was like... I don't remember actually. Wait, 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 wait. So, 156, minus 5, minus 5, 146. Yeah, okay, it's the third attempt. Three hundred ten DP is not enough for Sakraya. Yeah, it's kind of on the low end, that's true. But, like, do you use buffs? Like, um, the Calc Elixir, maybe. Let's go. Fairly high stack now. You can keep more goods if you get a house in town. <laughs> one more, one more. I'll still say this in five hours, I think. One more, one more. Need to buy shards soon again, or like now. And that works for me. You think it's a good idea to use defense perfume there? Well, if you have the AP but not the DP, that's what I would try. It's a lot about trying things out. It's my understanding that Guardian isn't a difficult cl uh, class to play. I haven't played her, but she should be easy to play. Make sure you got your combo right. Like on Guardian Discord, there should be instructions on what combo to use. Don't freestyle stuff or click random buttons. Make sure to use proper high-end PvE combos. Have the right add-ons and that helps a lot. Also core skill. Important one. Where are my sharps? Did somebody buy all the sharps before I got them? Yeah, looks like.
Yeah, if she's easy to play, you don't really have an excuse for not grinding Sakraya. <laughs> Just make it work. Maybe you can put Kafra stones into your armor and get a few extra DP levels and a new uh, percentage DR bracket. And then the game is going to be much easier. Oh, I cancelled it by accident. I'll have to go back to um, Heidel to sell some stuff soon. I hope I clicked mass process and not just process. But it will show up here. And this stuff. And do I need to make the flower of madness? Or this stuff, do I need to make the Passion of Valtara? Or is it kind of optional for people who want Black Star gear? I'm not sure what to use it for anymore. Is it just trash that you sell to vendor? Exchanging Dragon Scale to Advice of Valks is not efficient. You can exchange black stones into advice or files, or like fail sacks, that is. I'm gonna sell something in Heidel. Um, like if you grind, if you grind the uh, Shadowkin spot in Dregan, that uh, uh, drops some Dragonstone fossils or Scale fossils or whatever they're called, and you get a chance to drop uh, the Infinite Potion piece. But I wouldn't go there to grind black stones or like fail stacks. It's better to just exchange black stones into fail stacks. No, not really. Like a dragon scale fossil is worse than blackstone exchange for sure. Like I'm I'm fairly sure of it. And like I talked to Ethi earlier and he said that. There is no reason why you would. There is no reason why you would uh, build fail stacks anymore, pretty much. It's just always exchange. Realist. My new favorite button. <laughs> Nobody wants Medea meals still. Nobody wants them. I hope somebody wants tea. It looks like I'm the one selling at max price. It's annoying if you have too much vinegar and uh, essence of liquor. I was hoping that during the barging event it goes the max price, but it's a tough ask. 
<laughs> okay, come on. There. I'm already selling it. I mean, you can also just fail stack the traditional way. Like, it's not it's not the end of the world, right? If you're still struggling with your fail stacks, Navi. I don't think I need the fish salad for anything. I probably made it to sell it on the market and then I listed like a few, but not all. And then I forgot. If it's not sold out, I'm gonna sell it. Looks good. Mmm, kinda running out of things to sell. I want to keep everything, that's like the main problem. It's fine. Stuff is gonna sell in the meantime. Do I grind daily for Agra's Fever? I only grind for Agra's Fever when it's filled up. And I don't really have like such a clear structure as to what I do when. I made a daily routine video, but I don't follow this routine every day. I only follow it when I'm not making videos, which is never. I could do Imperius for money. Yeah, I could, like in half an hour, I can hand an Imperius again. It's a good idea. I could do it already, but the Imperials is probably not available because everybody is handing in Imperials at reset. I don't want to um, enhance terribly much more, just a bit. It would be satisfying to get a, uh, a Ted tonight and maybe one pen attempt. That would be great. Mm, but of course it's uh, very RNG if that's gonna happen. I have to stack all the way up again. It's not a good start. Guess I'll repair the steel dagger first. So how about you? Do you dry, uh, do you grind every day? I find it fairly hard to grind every day because, like, if you gather for like one hundred minutes and grind for one hour and do imperials for like half an hour total with all the rearranging, moving to town and whatnot, and that's already like three hours gone, and. Like we are talking active time, being around the computer that much is probably okay, but active time, that's a lot. <laughs> I 
Yeah, this time there's no steel dagger to repair. I'll just uh I'll just click. And now the Noover. What stack am I building actually? Building like a 55 stack. Could have clicked this a little sooner actually. But that's okay. And there it is, 55. I want to um, exchange some blackstone soon, I guess. I've never done it yet. The 40 stack is not low for this, but it's not high either. Okay, how do I, how do I exchange black stones? Does anybody know? the enhanced menu okay thank you like this mm, yeah okay yeah that's such a no-brainer <laughs> That's like the easiest thing in the world. What the hell? How dare they adding something like that? Hey Zesty. <laughs> it kinda is a stream, yeah. Didn't it look streamy to you? It was kind of a spontaneous decision to stream. It's a bit late. Yay. Attempt number four. Again, gonna use this super eye stack. Uh. Okay, this is... Is this the last click on this stack? Maybe it is, yeah, maybe it is. 
went out for dinner. Hmm. Yeah, you have way too much money, Zesty. <laughs> Life is so expensive. Okay, let's go. Sink this extremely high fail stack into this. Uh, thank you. That's good. It was a high stack, but I needed it. I need the black star. <laughs> easy, <laughs> yeah, easy. <laughs> no, it was kind of easy. Like the stack was high, but one out of four, and that's pretty sexy. So it's not over. <laughs> uh, now the real struggle begins: liquidating for a pen click. I clicked on the right character, didn't I? Yeah, I did. If you cool. plan on crafting, you should leave your materials in the storage. Mm, yeah, I want to list one of the Grunel shoes. I have way too many of them. I think. I can always make more later. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, look at it. It's head. It's head. It's gonna. It's gonna be one pen attempt. Isn't that beautiful? You're gonna get a pen black star attempt out of this stream. <laughs> out of the let's enhance a hunting thing stream. Okay, let's sell it. Okay, let's not bother. Yeah, now I'm gonna take all of the... Uh, yeah, I was thinking for one moment to re-roll my... Kunoichi thing. I wanna, I wanna see what I'm melting. <laughs> because I have a sorceress that I wanna play on. I wanna see what I'm melting. Oh yeah, totally melting that. No thanks. If you want to purchase goods, you'll need to have some money in the <laughs> The idea that you melt cosmetic items into something you enhance with is so weird. Okay, so I have a classic outfit box. What about what about this? I would use it on land, wouldn't I? Mm. I've opened it on Sorcerers already. I've opened it on Kunoichi already. I've opened it on Tamer. Mm, the LAN has some other things here. Open it on Shy. Open it on Hashashin. But yeah. I'll just do a quick check of the Lan outfit because I think my season character I'm gonna do late entry into season and my season character is gonna be Lan. What is that outfit all about? I'm gonna use different shoes, I know that already. Uh, I don't really care for weapon too much. The gloves are like whatever. Yeah. Okay, fine. I'll keep the sword and I'll. Actually, no, that's too much effort. I'll I'll open it on striker and melt everything. The most important parts are the headpiece and the clothes, and I have them both for my LAN. That works for me. Yeah. 
Have you reviewed the Global Lab Nurse for Sage and Nova? What do you think about them? If so, uh, I haven't reviewed them. The classes are too strong. That's like objectively true. <laughs> Uh, so, like, that's a welcome change, but I'm not the best person to ask about PvP stuff. I'm uh, still a beginner when it comes to PvP, and I'm soon going to move into it. I'm kind of like trying to get hard cap gear. <laughs> you know, if you go into PvP, you want to be geared. No, but uh, I'm not experienced at PvP. And in terms of PvE, I know that Nova is really broken. Uh, Sage, I don't know how his PvE is like. If it's if it's really good, I'm not sure. Storage goods can be transferred to other regions using a periodic transport wire. This is very very close to a Black Star penitent. <laughs> Think about it. I want to keep the other stuff. Think about what it would be like to have like a pen Black Star Awakening, just like that. <laughs> oh my god. It would be so good. I want it. Do I have some some crown stones in here or in there? I don't want to claim this on this character. But I can buy some in the pearl shop. And those Yeah, I'll buy this. I'll forget about it anyway if I don't buy it now. Very satisfying ding. <laughs> you have to sleep now just before I get a pen black star. Going to sleep. It's heartbreaking. <laughs> Case yellow. No, but I'm hyped. I'm hyped for this click. I almost have it. I think it's 690. I can buy the rest from like a uh, NPC vendor. Or I'll find something on my tamer to melt. Yeah, should be good. Let's see. Problem with Tamer is I love all my outfits. I don't really use that Daru, I guess. I don't really use those shoes. It's weird. I have some premium outfit box, yeah. Mm, I could find something here, but I think I want to buy crowns. Could do like Imperials. I think the price of Tangred Belt crashed. Like I'm, I'm gambling with Tangred Bells. I think they are going to be really valuable soon again. Let's see. Yeah, like when they're when they're like one thirty or so, I'm gonna sell. Open that <laughs> well bundle. No, that's gonna be a bundle opening stream. That's gonna do. That's gonna that's gonna make content some other time. I can probably cancel like a pre-order. Actually, I canceled my pre-orders already. Belenos meals are selling. Yeah, people are saving up for Imperials now. Like, I'm not too concerned. I'm kind of taking it a bit slowly because it's only going to be one click tonight. And, like, what's the point in rushing it? It's just a few minutes longer, whatever. I'm going to list some new Belenos meal. I'm going to go to... I'm going to gonna go have a bio break. And then... Gonna do a very lightweight click <laughs> with an empty bladder. Way better. <laughs> if you have a lot of stuff, leave 
Different with me. <laughs> Within your allowed space, of course. I should like this is not difficult math. Checking like if you can put it into your stars if you can fit it. <laughs> But <laughs> I'd rather trial and error it than look at numbers. The hell. It's so easy to calculate. Mm, I think the math portion of my mind just broke. Maybe that's why I'm bad at decision making. Am I bad at decision making? I wouldn't know. I'm somewhat high functioning, but I'm still unhappy with where I am and what I do. Could always be better. How has it improved cooking? Well, you make more money from cooking for market. That's for sure. Uh, like if you self-make cook everything, it's uh, it's more profitable now. Nobody wants media meals. Yeah, I'm lowest price. <clears throat> okay. Uh, wanna buy my media meals? For pen black star attempt. <laughs> uh, okay. I can probably fart already. I just uh you want to extend your storage space. If you buy a house to use for storage, how do you Yeah, did that answer your question? Like I'm not sure what you want to hear. Like should I go more into detail? Or like just just ask a follow up question. I like that better. If if you want to know something else. Okay. Did anybody? <laughs> okay. Okay. Chat. Is anybody into occultism? I'd be really interested. <laughs> no, stream is suddenly getting all serious. I'd be, uh, that'd be uh, interesting. <laughs> it's hard for me to figure out whether you should believe in that stuff at all, or if it's all BS. If it's all Black Star. <laughs> How much better? Well, like, Belenos was 22.7k, 20, uh, Belenos meal, right? And now it's like 25k, I think, or like 24 something. So it's like, it's like math amount better. It's like 10% or so better. But the ingredients are more pricey as well. But if you gather everything yourself, it's, it's like better, right? Money making for new player. Uh, you should just, you should probably just run relic scrolls all day. Do it for like 20 hours every day. <laughs> Your character is not going to progress, but you're going to make good money. Okay, we almost ready to, to do the click. I'll be right back.
Hello. Okay, I guess missing the critical imperial window window here, but uh, that's gonna be fine. I'm thinking I want to do the click in uh... <clears throat> Yeah, should I click on my main? I want to click on my main, yeah. And I was thinking to do the click in um, the Serene Spring because it's a beautiful spot at the aloe plant. Also, I just recall how at the start this was about getting a pen uh, hunter's outfit and just terribly failing. <laughs> and then I thought for a moment, okay, let's do Griffin Helmet. I think I said that as well and I, I never touched it. The Griffin helmet is still is still in the warehouse. We're not even on plus one. <laughs> uh, maybe maybe I do like a how to enhance video with Griffin helmet, but uh, that stuff is heartbreaking. I feel lonely when I make videos. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's like uh, just sinking 30 hours into nothing. Okay, wait. I wanted to click on main. When I take it out, and that's when the timer thing happens. BDO is the most lonely MMO. Ooh, uh, all right, okay. What is super interesting? I lost. I lost track of that. <laughs> what stack is the pen? Black Star attempt is two fifty. Uh, Video might be the most lonely MMO, but it's also an MMO with a great combat system. I like the combat system. It's a bit unbalanced class-wise, but the combat system is so satisfying. I love it for that. I think um, I think I would be a huge sucker for Final Fantasy, actually, if I started playing. I like... First, I want to really function in BDO. I have a long way to go because the whole video making I'm dreaming of the situation where I have uh, enough videos for like three months or something and I can just strategic <clears throat> sorry I have I have some uh, some beef in my throat <laughs> it's not going away I had beef with pepper uh, while I was downstairs and uh, there's like a bit of pepper <laughs> stuck in the most inconvenient place I can't speak um, but like I'm, I'm dreaming of like a uh, situation where I can strategically plan the uh, future of uh, content creation my channel and that kind of stuff you know and um, right now I'm just surviving week after week and it's so hard <laughs> Don't let your position as a content creator force you to play the game if you end up not enjoying it or wanting to take a, uh, to take a break. Yeah, I can see that. And like, I appreciate the advice. But like, um, the way I see content creation is you level your character, you know? And when you are a very new player, it's, uh, it's about uh, familiarizing yourself with the game falling in love with it to some extent and just having a good time and after a while uh, you try to gear up you try to make owls and all that kind of stuff you know and in this sort of like pyramid of needs at some point content creation becomes the next upgrade so like content creation is just a way of enjoying games for me it's like okay I'm level 62, I have 270 AP and 
I create content, you know? <laughs> it's just like a natural evolution, in a sense. And that's why I, I can't separate it. Because, like, what is the point of progressing in any game if... Uh, If you don't, uh, if you don't have anybody who watches you, you know. Well, Nabi, like to some extent, the more skilled you are at a game, the more technical your approach towards playing it becomes, and you can't really reach new players anymore. So, um, like. The best counter example I can think of is Evil Do Us Harm. He makes content that makes very experienced players cringe because he spreads some bad misinformation. But for beginners, it's good because they don't know where to start. And what he does is essentially providing them with everything they need to get started. And then they they just like sort of like leave his channel and do their own thing, and in this way of making players mature from a beginner to like a sort of mid tier player, he is he's doing great. And this is not my approach at all. Like I try to be there for players from the very beginning to the very end, and I never let go. Sort of you know. And, and like his approach is very different, but um, I lost my track of thought. Like I have no idea what this is about, but like, uh, okay, okay. I think I got it back. Like the Moraland dragon actually <laughs> reminded me. Uh, essentially, he doesn't care about being great at the game. He is fine just being decent at the game. And this is what he wants to convey to his like viewership, you know, and um, like um, that is enough for some people. It's not enough for me. I want to go a bit uh, further, but uh, it's popular, you know, it's popular among new players because like if you play a game for long enough, you assume that there are some basic human functions, you know, like opening the worker menu and scrolling down and, you know, whatever. Opening the map and going to some random node, clicking it. Okay, let's actually invest in it for no reason. And seeing that there is like one worker in Tariff. Okay, so I have to go to Tariff and I have to see which node isn't currently... isn't currently dealt with and like I'm giving this example because you know it took me like half a minute to find the node that doesn't have an active worker and like a new player like a completely new player he doesn't even know that he has to click this icon you know and the content of of people who really cater to beginners involves things like okay you have to click this and then you have to scroll down the list and you have to figure out that you know and like to an experienced player this is this is this is like you take it for granted that people know it and it doesn't even cross your mind that you don't know this as a beginner and that's kind of like a uh, a different approach to content creation And, and sort of like creating content on the right skill level for people is a very difficult thing to do. Ideally, you want to create content on a skill level that is like super entry level. You know, everybody can watch your content, but at the same time, it's like so detailed that even extremely experienced players are going to get something out of watching your content, even though it's like sort of meant to be enjoyable for beginners. And that is very difficult. And this is what I'm trying to do, and it doesn't really work, you know? Because for some people, my content is always going to be too technical and too advanced. And that's why 
sort of making content that spreads misinformation but is targeted at beginners is better, you know? Like, telling people to gather lions and sell lion meat is bad advice. But if I don't even make a video about gathering lions because I think, okay, people, people can gather anything in the game, they can gather lions too, why would I make a video about it, you know? Like, uh, that is, yeah, that is, that is like a, a different, that's like a different thing. And like, I don't know if it's about finding the sweet spot, to be honest, because like the, the sweet spot is what works and what doesn't work. And for a YouTuber, like to some extent, it's always going to be about money. Because like, if I cannot even live of the content I create, I cannot really be a content creator. Like I have one out of three chances to create content whereas somebody else who makes it full time has three out of three chances in a sense, you know? And like my hope is kind of that at some point people just learn that my content is more advanced, but at the same time, it's not as, um, like it's not difficult to comprehend, you know? And like my hope is that when people see a video topic in their feed and there is a video of Evil Do Us Harm and there is a video of me, they click my video because they know that my video is going to be better. But of course, I'm never gonna make as many videos as Evil Do Us Harm because I put more work into my videos, you know, as simple as that. Because the things I tell people, they are not things I know. I research them as well. So like, that's a big factor in my content creation. But like, it's, it's actually crazy, you know, just putting that much effort into a single game and like not really like this isn't paying my life in any way it's it's like a nice pocket money thing but it's it's like it's 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 not it's not big you know <laughs> so uh just thinking about all the software and external support and translation and you know image editing and and whatever that i'm buying like that that cost isn't even covered you know but like, I guess <laughs> if you want to join this madness, then like, you know, click subscribe and, and, and go down the rabbit hole, you know, <laughs> like this is all I can offer at this point. And I, I can click the, the black star. But man, like this content creation is crazy. Like <laughs> You think it takes no skills, but it's, it's the craziest thing ever. <laughs> it's like... Depending on what approach you take, it might just not work because you're like too proud to do horse or something like that. Like, oh my god. I'll take your energy. I'll take I'll take your energy. Uh, well I'm I'm glad you're enjoying my videos. It uh it means a lot to me. But uh, this is the click of the evening. This is the click. <laughs> okay. Uh. I wouldn't skip it. Uh, that's inappropriate. I can't forget to uh, to click Hrant. That was a close one. And actually, I have to go to town once more to um to buy the remaining cron it was 690 right 670 okay got it <clears throat> god damn it delf i hope you didn't forget to click the streamer rng box in the back end like there's this joke among video partners, you know, that I'm trying to establish, but nobody has picked it up yet. It's about Delve taking the box in the in the account backend whenever a partner is enhancing something crazy, you know. <laughs> like enable streamer RNG, you know, hence the stream title. But um, man, it's confirmed that this doesn't exist, but I love that idea. <laughs> I love that idea. Why does my character have no silver? What happened there?
But that sucks. I mean, seriously, what character had the silver? This one. Okay. Let's swap to the wrong one. Yeah, I totally want to go pen. Uh, so quick poll in chat. I don't know how to do polls. I don't even know if YouTube has polls. But um, okay, we're gonna we're gonna do it like this. If you want to watch me grind orcs and make money on stream, you type in one and press enter. And if that doesn't seem interesting, you press two and enter. Just just like a quick poll because I have no idea if I want to if I want to uh, like grind on stream. Never done it before. And I feel like I need the playlist. <laughs> I feel like Alina playlist. Like. <laughs> okay, I'm surprised. Okay. Uh, but Peperi, are you a tamer? Because like, what you would learn from watching my stream is probably pretty, uh, pretty specific. Like tamer specific. I, I suppose. I'm not sure though. Like, I wouldn't know for sure. I think I need to make succession LAN and play season. I guess. I guess I do that. <laughs> I guess I do that. Because, like, uh, other classes are getting nerf, but succession LAN is not getting nerf. You like grinding? Okay. Well, thank you for the quick poll. I didn't expect, like, such a clear opinion. Like, I'm not sure who actually watches my content, like, the life skill content is the most popular, but, like, I'm not sure why that is. Is it because I know more about life skilling, so my content is better, or is it because life skilling is actually the more popular thing to do? I have no idea. And, like, I get asked a lot of life skill specific questions as well, like, maybe people just associate me with life skills at this point. But I wouldn't consider myself a life skiller. It's just something I do to get money. What? Well, 23. Is it popular? Okay. Yeah, okay. Like, it is kind of complex, you know? Like, nobody denies that. Like, compared to grinding, you have to do a bit more preparation. But... Grinding involves more mechanical th uh, things, you know, if I compare gathering and grinding and gathering themes, uh, seems like I mean it has a high skill ceiling because you need to know your skills and like what to what to use when and like Be familiar with your class you know the distance gathering animation cancelling, but you know What really nobody does life skill content do you comment under my videos, Casey? I'm not sure if I just forgot or I can't recall, like, that's the same thing, but like, whatever. Like when you, when you type something on stream, I always recognize you, but if you ever comment under videos, I'm not sure I remember. You got all goblins. Well, getting all goblins is a good idea. Goblins are just the best worker and, and just task your roommates to feed them if you have any or do you live alone? Oh my god. God, this is so sweaty. All the paper is like sticky. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? Okay, you always comment. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Didn't mean to offend you. Uh, okay, thank you. You know what? Like, if you play the, the game for long enough and you have decent gear and stuff, there's this point where you sometimes aren't sure if you actually want the enhancement to succeed or not because you know like if you want to play the game for longer and have things to do getting everything for free in the first click is like not not a good thing because like what what will you do you know you have everything like what is the next enhancement to go for 
This is a situation nobody really wants to be in, even as an experienced player. But I can say from the bottom of my heart that I want this Black Star. I really want it. Because I know like how much of an uphill battle it's going to be to get the merchant ring to get the uh like um what was it called like the the necklace the 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 ash forest necklace the barica right like that stuff is bonkers so i can say that i want this to go in one click i really want it and I'm reflected enough to say that this is not something everybody feels like. Some people want to click five times just so that they have four extra clicks to do play the game to do something. But I want this, okay? I want to I want to I want to go easy street this time. I really want it. So please go pen. Do it for me. <laughs> that was the shortest and most brutal animation I could possibly think of. <laughs> that was bad. Okay, but hey, it's already dead, you know? Like, it's just one more click. A click that succeeds. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I'm so sleep deprived. I think I could sleep for 20 hours, actually. <laughs> and I don't feel like I'm artificially sleeping little to force out content or to play the game longer. I just can't sleep at night. <laughs> mm, yeah, Black Spirit didn't like my speech. But hey, at least I remembered to click use cron. <laughs> that could have gone worse, right? It has before in the past. Brutal stuff. Brutal stuff. How you just delete like... Okay, effectively it was... It was like four, four bill or something like that. It was four point nine bill? No, wait, three point nine bill. And that's it, three point nine bill. Because most of the stuff was actually from uh, from market crons, and there was like maybe a hundred vendor crons or so, maybe a bit more. Ooh. So much chest out Whew. okay i'm gonna read you barely know mechanics on orcs i can give you a bit of a spoiler the idea is you first kill the prisons then you kill the, uh, the wizards and you may interrupt like the grind process to kill the wizards sooner if you notice that uh they are uh, despawning the light, you know, and uh, then you kill everything else. That's how it works. And you try to um, you try to tap into two rotations because just one rotation is easy to outgrind if you have LVO weapon. This is how orcs work. Like these are the basics. Life skill is more complex. Okay, I read that before. Uh, I actually got all goblins. Okay, I read that before too. Wait, what am I reading? <laughs> okay, scroll down. It's, it's like sauna in here. It's like 40 degrees at least. You like the guides of airstyles? Yeah, airstyles didn't last long, I guess. 
Mm, I wouldn't compare myself directly to Airstyles personally, because Airstyles has a way of making videos that are sort of like low maintenance, like you can make them so quickly. And he sort of has the right idea and he simplifies it to the point where it's like not uh, like it it does devour your soul to make a video like air styles. You can probably do it in like seven or eight hours and I take like 30 plus. <sighs> and but yeah, like from a viewer's perspective, it's probably similar. I'm in Europe, yeah, I am. Good night, Casey. I'm glad you liked the Lions video. I'm uh, gonna make uh, some herb video at some point soon. And I'm actually planning a hunting video, but uh, as you could see, the enhancement was uh, not very generous. So I'm going to have to... Um, sell a lot of stuff before I can enhance my hunting outfit and when I have that I can hunt like it's somewhat realistic for me to make uh, a Ted hunter's clothes and then I will just uh, hunt with that maybe because reaching Guru 1 is 30 hours and reaching Guru 28 is uh, 100 hours reaching Guru 50 is over a thousand hours even with good buffs. And I think I want to be somewhere in between Guru 28 and uh, Guru 50. Just to have high mastery. And then I want to make a Pegasus. And I want to hunt. I'm not sure if I'm going to go for tier 10 Pegasus. Or if I just want uh, tier 9. But I suppose the price difference is not so high. Like, you can get unlucky with the uh, tier 10 Pegasus, of course, but I already have all the materials. The only thing I still need is the feathers. And for most people, the bottleneck is the ferns or the uh, flowers. But for me, it's the feathers because I did ferns from the first day and I never clicked. But at the same time, I'd like a unicorn, a tier 10 unicorn. So it's a, it's a tough call. Maybe tier 9 Pegasus is enough for hunting. Because like, I'm not like a huge sucker for Pegasus. I just want to be able to hunt and for that I need a Pegasus. And I don't care too much if it's tier 9 or tier 10. But uh, there's no tier 10 unicorn yet, even though they announced a long time ago. And that's why I kind of want it. But it's like a it's like a gamble. Like when will they add it? It could be in a few months. It could be tomorrow. Nobody knows. Tomorrow meaning Wednesday. <laughs> but wow. Like this was a crazy stream actually got a Tet uh, Black Star for Awakening and just a few bill away from attempting pen again it's uh, it's pretty good I need to update the thing yeah but I'm pretty satisfied actually Maybe it would be a little bit better to, to have like pen hunting because I could use the event, but you know, I'll find some way. Like if I, if I save up more resources, I think I'm gonna tat it and let, let's make a deal chat. Like if I get a tat uh, manas hunting thing and I want to click it to pen, I'm going to stream. And if I don't stream, I don't click pen. I think that's fair. And in this way, I'm gonna make a hunting guide 
or a stream. So either way you get content. Don't want to go broke over I'm not getting pen hunting, but at the same time I don't want to waste the live event. Maybe I'll just uh, do a bit of training. I could stream training. Like taming horses. I'm not as crazy as like Abe, but uh, you know a little bit. A little bit of uh, horse taming should be fine. Cool. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. If you enjoyed this content, please don't forget to subscribe because if you don't, you may never see this content again. <laughs> of course, I do stream more often, but not terribly often. Maybe like twice a month or something like that. Damn, I have no money. And uh, for the most part, it's going to be guides. So if you're into that, make sure to watch them on YouTube. And I'll see you soon. It was a pleasure.